Everybody, welcome back to the case of the Golden Idol. Yet again, how do you have so many points to waste? How do you manage to waste so many points? It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for making sure the, the abyss is always sated. <laughs> but uh, welcome everybody. Welcome to the case of the Golden Idol. Uh, I, I, I've been experimenting with my mouth tracking and I think I may have messed it up a little bit. Um, we, we will soon see. We'll soon see, but it's all right. <laughs> but welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone's had a lovely weekend so far. I've had a, I've had a, a decent weekend, I think. I, I actually managed to get some sleep. Uh, I was going to say last night. It was more this morning. <laughs> it was more this morning than anything, but um, I managed to get some sleep today. So that feels really good. That I, I very much like when... I get to sleep in until like half one on a weekend. <laughs> it's very nice. But uh, welcome in, ever. I need to. I need to change this mouth tracking. It's it's making me miserable every now and then. What have I done? Okay. I uh. I think I fixed it there. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I fixed it. <laughs> Sorry. I was. I was just noticing it was randomly making me miserable every now and then. Like, I'd, I'd be saying a word and I'd just go like... Huh. Uh. I'm not very good at being miserable. I'm smiling too much. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, you're baking some bread rolls! Oh, glad to hear it. I love bread. Freshly baked bread is the... It's so nice. It's such a nice thing. But uh, let me let me go through and greet everybody properly. Lumsev, congratulations on the first. Also, Barb and Rika, thank you for being here before the the stream started as well. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Ariel, lovely to see you again. Welcome in. Akire, thank you for always testing the sound alerts for me. <laughs> welcome, welcome. And also, Lumsev, thank you for wasting another 10,000 points. I have no idea how you have so many... I am always amazed and astounded at how many points you've had <laughs> and wasted, but thank you so much. And I hope the bread rolls are lovely. I, I want freshly baked bread now. Oh, there's something we used to do a lot that we haven't actually done for a while. Uh, we used to get these, they're like part baked rolls. Like they'd be partially baked, but they'd be made so that you, you like buy them and then you put them in the oven yourself for a bit to finish the baking, so then it's like the freshly baked bread experience without having to do all the baking. <laughs> and they were always so nice. I love the... I love heating up a part-baked roll and having like a nice sandwich filling with it. They, they, were, they were so nice. Just such nice bread. I like bread a lot. <laughs> Honestly, it's really funny. There's there's a lot of food that I'm really picky about, but when it comes to carbs, just like basic carbs, I'm I'm a big carb fan. <laughs> I I like pasta, I like bread, I like rice. I like potatoes. I'm not a big fan of jacket potatoes, but I do like potatoes in a lot of different forms. I ju I just like carbs. <laughs> 
Also, Brie, hello! Welcome, welcome as well. Welcome in. I'm so excited. And also a little bit sad to be finishing this game because this game has been so incredible. This has been such a fun game to play. <laughs> I've been having such a blast with it, but yeah, we're down to the last DLC now, and I've, I've got a feeling I should be able to finish it in one stream. I managed to do the last one in one stream, and I'd presume they'd be similar lengths. Also, last week um, had several moments where I was very sleep deprived and missed things that I don't think I would have missed if I'd actually had sleep. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a. I I think I can do well today. I believe in me, but uh, it's it's gonna be so strange to like. I only started this as an in between game, between Outer Wilds, and now I'm just like this was the absolute best decision I could have made. Why do I say absolute so much? I playing Baldur's Gate three has made me so hyper aware of how often I say absolute and absolutely. <laughs> I can't help it. It's, it's just part of my natural vocabulary. It's just been ruined. Ah, uh, got a thermo mix as a wedding gift. You're making the dough yourself and the result is delicious. Oh, that's so good. There's something so special about like making it yourself from scratch. Like home baked things are amazing. Also, Car Carthage, let me know if I'm mispronouncing. Welcome in, and don't be too sad, they're working on a sequel. I know! I saw, I've already added it to my wish list. The, uh... It lo yeah, it looks like it's set... More, it's more in the future now, whereas, like, this is very, like, far in the past. It's a little more modern for the next one, it looks like. So I'm really excited for that. But uh, I actually added that to my wish list before I even played this game. Because I had so many people telling me how good this game was and how much I would enjoy it. I was like, I trust your judgment. I'll, I'll just wishlist all of it. <laughs> and they were right. Everyone who recommended it, you were 100% right. Thank you so much. I need to go through my previous chat logs and see which people recommended it to me first because thank you. <laughs> thank you, all of you. But it's been so great. I love it so much. I. I wonder if this is going to be another prequel one then, because the Spider of Lanka like led up towards the first case here, so I'm thinking this might be another prequel, like maybe from a different angle, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm very excited to check it out. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go straight in. Actually, no, I will not go straight in. I'm going to start by doing this. I'm going to do that. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, and thank you for doing the backseating message too. I forgot. I forgot to do it. Thank you so much. Precious mod team. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for my life. <laughs> Look, I've, I've cracked open my monster. I'm having a sip. We're, we're getting the brain cells working. Oh, Jack. Thank you. Welcome, thank you. Now now I have to have two sips. He. I mean, I don't have to have two sips. I just want to have two sips. But welcome, happy Sunday. Okay, there we go. I'm I'm fueled. I'm fueled up and ready. It's so funny. I was I was in a friend's stream earlier and we were talking about monster energy because they said they saw it like a a box of pink monster and they thought of me and I was like oh oh my heart that that's like the biggest compliment you can give me <laughs> just be like I saw this and thought of you like it could be a worm you could say I saw a worm on the ground and I thought of you and I would just be there like that's the sweetest thing anyone's ever said to me <laughs> like just knowing that people think about me and like associate me with things is really sweet but yeah, they were saying that uh, they saw monster, they saw pink monster and thought of me. And I, I ended up going to the monster website because we ended up talking about like monster sponsorships. And it turns out monster has like this whole, like athletics program, for like it's called like the monster army or something. And it's just for like athletics for young adults. And I was like, okay, that's really cool. But do you do like gaming uh, sponsorships? So I went to the website, I went to check out the FAQs, I clicked on, do you do gaming sponsorships? And the text said, 
uh, Monster Energy does gaming sponsorships for the following games. XXX. It, it was like a placeholder. They didn't fill anything in. So I think it's safe to say Monster does not do gaming sponsorships. <laughs> But I'll find a way. I will find a way. If I have to get into, like, motocross to get a monster sponsorship, if if I have to learn how to do, like, off-road dirt biking <laughs> to get sponsored by monster. <laughs> I don't even know how to drive, but I'll figure it out. How, how hard can it be, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame, because I know Red Bull do sponsorships for things like that. And there's all this stuff, like... Gamer fuel and gamer subs and stuff like they they all do sponsorships, but Monster Energy apparently is just like no video gamers, uh, no, no we don't need gamers. <laughs> oh, and Zariad, hello, Investigator Zariad. You're both a detective and an alligator. When you're on the job, sweets, uh, streets and swamps alike are safe, even the sewers. Oh, you're you're investigating everything then. You've got it covered. The fan art would be glorious. Yeah, just, just me, me crashing a bike. <laughs> Have a plan. Start streaming MXGP video games. <laughs> it's so funny. There is actually an official like Monster Energy video game that's like Monster Energy Motocross. I think it's like the. Is it the PS2? I think it might be a PS2 game. Hold on. I need to. I need to check this. Monster Energy video game. Yeah, Monster Energy Supercross. The video game. There's six of them? There's... There, there, there's six of them? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> what? <laughs> there are six Monster Energy Supercross video games. <laughs> It's available on PS5, Xbox Series, and... Oh, it's on Steam as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I going to start playing Monster Energy Supercross? <laughs> what is this? Oh, my goodness. I think I need to get this. Just... Oh, it's 45 quid. Never mind. I'm not getting that. <laughs> That is too much to spend on a silly bit. Never mind. It's it's full like video game price. I could not afford that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny though. I knew that was one because I remember always seeing it in like secondhand game shops, like on the PS2, just laughing at the fact that there's Monster Energy Supercross. What was it? Was it? I need to see if there's one on the PS2. I need to see which one is the PS2 one because that's the one I always saw. PS2. Oh, it's just the first one. Yeah, the, the first game, I think, just came out. Did it? No. I'm thinking of a different one. These ones started in 2018? What am I thinking of then? Monster Energy. What? I'm confusing myself with this now. <laughs> I need to look this up afterwards. I need to not fall down this rabbit hole because I will end up here for a while. <laughs> but no, I just remember seeing it in the shops and laughing because haha, funny Monster Energy video game. It might have been Xbox 360 as well, actually. I think it's more likely that it was Xbox 360. I'm not sure. Either way. Oh, or I could take a totally legitimate copy from the basement. Yeah, I bet I definitely have a totally legitimate copy in my basement. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I've... It's it's one thing where, like, I've always had, like, a little moral code to myself. Like, I'm going to speak very candidly now in a way that might get me in trouble, but it, I hope it won't. Uh... At the beginning of streaming, there's a lot of people who have just said like, oh, just use emulators, just just download games, just don't worry about it. Nobody will know if you don't say anything. But I am a very honest person to a fault sometimes, and I wouldn't be able to do it. I would feel too bad if I pirated a game <laughs> to, to play on stream. I couldn't do it. 
<laughs> I would not be able to do it. So I I would find a way to legitimately get a copy if I wanted to stream it. I I it's it's the one like little moral standing that I always have. Like I would not be able to do it because I would feel too guilty. I would feel too bad. Even if nobody else knew, I would know. I would know that I was doing a bad thing. And so it's it's also the reason why like a little part of me really wants to do DS games or like 3DS games, but there's genuinely no way to do them that is not like legally ambiguous. So I, I just simply have not done it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do a hand cam stream sometime. I will have my, my physical 3DS on my desk and do like a hand cam stream <laughs> playing the DS game. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I just, I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, gotta say, yeah, that's that's the main problem with things like abandonware and stuff. It's it's such a gray area. But either way, at that point, I would rather, I'd still rather not do it. Like just, even if it's like morally ambiguous and I probably wouldn't get in trouble, I still, I would just go, well, I'll do something else instead. <laughs> but uh, it could be funny to literally have like a hand cam me playing style boutique on my DS. <laughs> I don't know, things to think about. Things to think about. Real pro strats, buy the 3DS game, but then play the emulator to stream. See, that's like the gray area I'm talking about though, because it's still, it's still the emulation at the end of the day. And we know what Nintendo think about emulators. <laughs> Looks at all the uh, lawsuits that happened. Uh, I'd, I'd rather just not touch anything close to that. I'd rather just not, not be anywhere near any of that. So instead, I just play Steam games. I just play games that I can buy on Steam. And it's not a problem for me, because if I look at my Steam library, how many games? How many games do I have here? I've got 1,243 games. And there's probably at least 10 of those that are playable, so... <laughs> so I'm good. I'm, I'm set for games. It's like, it's a little bit of a shame because I would love to do like style boutique streams or something because that game owns my heart. I love the style boutique game so much. Like uh, the fashion fashion dreamer on the Switch, it, it scratched the itch a little bit, but it's not, a, it's not a style boutique game. Style boutique is all about the, uh, it's all about strategy. It's like a business game. You're running a business. You have to get stock in. You have to figure things out. Fashion Dreamer is just, hey, put this on. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Which is very nice in a casual sense, but uh, sometimes I want I want something a bit deeper. I, I miss the gameplay. But yeah, I'm, I'm always like, I would always just much rather... I, I, wa I want to always make sure I'm supporting game developers because Lord knows the industry's a nightmare. <laughs> so yeah, it's I, I always either buy games on Steam or if I get the chance, I like to buy them on Itch as well. Because I know a, a few devs have been like, hey, if you can buy on Itch instead of Steam, it would help us out. And I'm like, say no more. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a game buyer. <laughs> we want competitive cute outfits making. Yeah, I want... I want to play a game where if I give them an outfit they don't like, they will outright reject me. Like, there's there's no reward if they'll just accept any awful thing I put on them. I want I want people to say no, you got this wrong, because <laughs> then it makes it feel better when I get it right. But yeah, it's yeah, it's it's a whole thing though with Nintendo and, and stuff. <laughs> But uh, anyway, that's not something I need to worry about at the moment, though, because I'm still playing games from my Steam library, like this one. And I love how I said, like, ten minutes ago, I'll just go straight into the game, and then I started talking about Monster Energy. <laughs> let's click! Let's go in! Let's check out what the Lemurian Vampire is about. I'm excited for this. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Yes, let me have another sip. <laughs> Replenish the brain cells I just spent talking. I've got to be on full form for investigating. And this time, I won't forget. I won't forget. I have this. I have this. I'm going to find all of the clues. 
and it's going to be so much faster than last time because I actually have my magnifying glass out. <laughs> but thank you for the high rate. Yay! I remembered. I remembered something. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> but yes, uh, I've got the, the Monster Energy Ultra Rosa today because I finally run out of Fiesta. I finally had my last can of Fiesta. So I'm down to just the Rosa and a few cans of the White Monster as well that I have. So I'm gonna have to get some more soon, but that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm overdue buying a large palette of monster. <laughs> Let's start new game. Oh, okay. These are like oh. This is about the explorers. Okay. Right, let's start with this before we jump in. We have a, a story thing. It is too dangerous to approach the island in the storm, most radiant Raja. <gasps> it's so loud. I must. I am out of time. I hear and obey. Okay, why is that so loud? That was so loud. I hope I hope the rest of it isn't that loud. <laughs> we will soon see. Here we go. Let's go in. Golden Idol Mysteries, the Lemurian Vampire. The enigmatic exploration in a harmonious island commune. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Let's start looking over here. This Oh. My prince, you are alive. It is thanks to karma that we have evaded death and been brought to the same beach. Ooh. Death. Death. Let me let me grab that real quick. Giant. I can't take the names. Oh, okay. See, every time I, I see a note now, I'm I'm instinctively just like let let me let me grab the names from these. I guess I'm not allowed. Jayan. I entrust you with guarding and, and ensuring the safety of the Lemurian priest's son, Zubiri Kara. <laughs> we know Zubiri. The old priest shared with me secrets of the Fountain of Youth, but I suspect he may have disclosed more valuable information to his son. <gasps> oh. Oh, this is like straight off the back of the, the last DLC then. This is interesting. Okay. That's really interesting because the last DLC went straight into like the pre the first chapter of the main game, but this one seems to be continuing from like a different angle. Like it's it's still prequel, but from a different direction. It's like continuing the story instead of jumping over to the cloud sleeves. I love this. Okay. My father is dead, Jayan. I am the last of the Gamini family. Now you serve only me as my royal blade master. You must address me as Raja. Oh, this is um the the guy who cheated. This is what's his face, the the Raja's son, who uh poisoned. You, you put the cricket in the thing. Uh, the, the I yeah that the yes yes. <laughs> As you can see, the words are working perfectly today. Cheetah, yes! <laughs> how dare he, just because he's not smart enough to know how to do logic puzzles. <laughs> I, I love the fact that both of them cheated, though. Like, both sides cheated. I don't think either of them deserve to be the, the successor. Like, the, the, the whole bloodline is founded on cheating. Like, she got all the answers, and then he didn't get enough right and cheated so that he would win anyway. They're, they're both cheaters. Neither of them deserve it. <laughs> oh, you missed last stream, so you have no idea what's going on. Uh, basically, this is the son of the Raja, who's like the, the main guy in charge of... It's Lanka, right? I don't know, I'm questioning myself now. But either way, there was like a ritual that him and his sister had to go through to see who would be the successor. 
and basically his sister won to do the ritual. Uh, he rigged the ritual so that she would die while the ritual was happening. Therefore, he became the successor because he was the only one left. <laughs> but uh, she only won the ability to do the ritual because she cheated and got all the answers beforehand. So either way, it's all just very, very corrupt. Yeah, it's just like real life. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, this is interesting, though. This is interesting. I'm wondering, like, how they ended up in this situation in the first place. Yep, cheaters all the way down. Right, who is this? Please do not harm us. We barely survived the storm. We are unarmed and come in peace. You got a note. Oh, diaries. Uh, January 10th, 1741. It is day 55 of my imprisonment. We have been at sea for two weeks and apparently Monkey Paw Island is within reach. Today, the Blade Master G played some Pajak with me and shared his stories of conquest. There is something noble about this man. Hmm. Hmm. January 11th. Okay, next day. It is day 56 of my imprisonment. We were on course to arrive at the island tomorrow. However, a storm is brewing, so I expect we will be delayed a day or two. Tissa continues to promise me riches in exchange for secrets pertaining to the Fountain of Youth. That's his name. This guy's called Tissa. That's his name. We've got, uh, he's, uh, Tissa Gamini. The son of the Raja, who I presume is dead now, considering here he's like, yeah, my, my father's dead. <laughs> right, and they've landed on this island, and this lot don't seem too happy about it. What is that? Is that just a rock? It might just be a rock. I don't think there's more I can look at here. Right, let's... Uh, no, I think that's the people. Okay, let's have a look at you then. Who are you? Why have you come to our peaceful island? You have a big wooden staff. That, that is a big wooden staff. I thought that was a shotgun to begin with. <laughs> I'm realizing now there isn't like a trigger or anything, so of course it isn't. But the shape of it immediately made me think shotgun. That's a really cool staff though. I can imagine it's got a very good like surface area for smacking people with have you forgotten about the importance of char uh, sharing? These poor souls have barely survived their ordeal in the storm. We should welcome them to our village, feed them and tend to their wounds. You seem very kind. She seems nice. He doesn't seem too happy about it. Uh, these two don't want to talk. Right. Oh, we can go up? Or, like, I was going to say, I'm guessing we can look over here. Oh, this is where the ship crashed. Okay, so their ship crashed on this island in the storm. And they managed to get over to this island. And they're being greeted with a very, very warm welcome. <laughs> they're all going to die, aren't they? Probably. Very likely. I would be surprised if everyone survives, I'll say that much. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going up here then? Oh! Wait, what is this? <gasps> is this like time of day? Wait, this is so cool. This is so cool. I, it, oh. And then there's different things to explore at each. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. All right, let's move along to here then. Let's go. Boom. See what's going on here now. It's nighttime now. As a child. We should stop playing. I have to practice our history tiles or Auntie Labu won't be happy with me. I wish I knew how to read so I could order them by their names. Alright, we've got Ancestors. We've got Brute. We've got Discovers. We've got Emerges. We've got Dweller. And we have protection. Okay. What is this? What's going on here? My first thought was like a slide, but that would be a really rubbish slide. <laughs> oh, I wonder if it's for like rolling marbles down. 
because they have they have marbles over here. You don't need to know how to read, silly. Just look at the pictures. They all make sense. Auntie isn't scary compared to Sterner. Sterner told my mom off yesterday and my mom cried. Right, here we've got community. We've got from. <laughs> from. We've got Sentinel. We've got Tower. We've got Lemurian. And we've got Banishes. We've got loads of words from these pictures now. That's very interesting. Right, I guess you're helping out. Here. Yeah. Yes, I did as Virlus asked and brought the repair materials to Vita's dwelling. Or Vito? Vito's dwelling. But tell me, are these really rubies and sapphires and golden coins that the children are playing with? I mean, if they don't tie, like, wealth to gems, then it will make sense if the kids just play with them. You mean those shiny bits and pieces? They're scattered around everywhere. Matter taught us that the children can play with these trinkets as long as they are big enough so the children cannot choke on them. That's sensible. That makes sense. If there's... Although it sounds very interesting now, knowing that this island has lots of rare gems around, just, just lying around. Very interesting indeed. What... what it, I guess they're repair materials, then. Even the senior villagers have to work for their food despite their age. But I haven't seen that old man do anything useful around here. Is he sick? Hmm. Who we got up here? Sometimes I think that Kula votes against Momga just to spite him. They really shouldn't drag you into every small decision. They should be trying to reduce your stress. I like that I can pick up the word reduce here. That is interesting. What is this then? Is it like straw? Hmm. Thank you for your kind words, but it was a short vote. Sometimes they do bicker, but only because they have the best interests of our community heart. Oh, everyone playing their part. Isn't this nice? Be respectful, Tissa. In time, you will learn our ways. Can you stop pushing this empty cart around and do some real work? Zano will not be happy if you continue to shirk your duties, and you will not get supper. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he kind of is. He's just wheeling an empty cart around. <laughs> the poor little pampered prince having to actually do something. He's just like, ugh. I'm sure he'll be very mad when he doesn't get supper. Right, how about you? I can't talk to you. Okay, that's all the people I can talk to here. I don't know if there's anything else I can explore. I think I've gotten what I need from here. Oh, I can go sideways. I can go- Oh, over here! What is this? What? Tomorrow your incantation expires, Vito. What? That's a little worrying. What the heck does that mean? What incantation? Oh, it's like a little, like, wave thing. Are they just, like, sculptures then? Is it just meant to be, like, a wave sculpture? It looks very cool, either way. What is that scrolled on the wall? Yesterday that wall was clear. Alright, ah! Okay, this is a bit in the future then. I guess that's a timeline. Because it seems they've been here for 13 days now. January 24th. It is day 13 on the island. Kruplu was very excited to tell me everything about the purple peas. It is fascinating that with very little tending, they provide so much nutrition to everyone in the valley commune. I enjoyed chatting with him because people are somewhat secretive here. It is day 14 on the island. It amazes me how harmonious and calm life is in the village. Every adult has to work, no matter their lifespan. But it is not arduous. Perhaps this is how life should always be. Ah, oh, well, he seems to be getting along quite well here. Who are these people? They are Lemurians, but I have not heard their dialect anywhere. Locals are enigmatic about their history, but I overheard a child chanting. The Exodus came first. 
Then finding of a cursed, last tragedy dispersed. That sounds a little ominous. Uh, okay. Interesting. Also, can I just say this music? All of the music in this game has been so perfect. This is so good. Oh, that's what he was carrying. Oh no, there, that's red though. No, never mind. I don't know what he's carrying. I was going to be like, oh, it's a purple pea pod. It's it, the red pea pods, I guess. <laughs> they, maybe they just have loads of different types of peas here. Once you've lived here long enough, you will understand. Sorry, I have to run. Kula gave me a lot of tasks today. I better not cross her. Okay, very interesting. Right, let's head back. Okay, yeah, it's either side of here. So I went across both ways, but I could just like up and down on both sides too. Okay, that's that's good to know. And I guess we go forward a little bit further in time then. Like this is the 13 days and then this is like maybe a couple of days later, maybe. What is happening here? Do I, <laughs> do I want to go across here? What is happening? I don't know if I want to go across here. What is going on here? Um, I guess it is time to find out. What is this? What is... what? Oh! Oh dear! Nagana Brin God Ah. Yeah, that's that. Uh, that. Huh? The person is not breathing. That. I don't think. I don't think whatever they were trying to do worked. I, I have a feeling what they were trying to do did not quite work. It's fine. They have, yeah, it's it's fine. Safety, completely safe. I'm I'm, I'm sure they're just having a nap. Uh, what's it? Oh, oh, it's the idol. Of course, it's the idol. Of course, it's the golden idol. It's on. Uh, that's remove. That's being activated. Let me see that. Let me see that. Do I remember what that did? Which one was this? I didn't write... I didn't write down what they all do. Oh... That... Well, it's taking away. It was... The, the crystal was blue, so it was in taking away mode. So it took something away. I'm guessing it is lifespan. I'm guessing this is the lifespan... Thing. Uh. Okay. Wow. Well, um, that. Yeah. I want to check what that one does now. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Actually, I I want to. I'm going back. I'm going back to the main menu. I want to double check which one that was. Where? Ah. This one. This is the one that had all the... I was going to say recipes. That feels like a really weird word for it. It is. It's the life one. It's the life one. That. Yep, that was the life one. Okay, we're going back. <laughs> Okay, yep, uh, you just had all your life taken away. Hmm, there's nowhere else I can go here, is there? I'm still missing two words. So I need to figure out where the words I'm missing are. So I'm on 33 out of 35. Do you have more words? Do you have more words which I may have missed? Scroll over everything. Do, 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 do. 
I've got most of the names and stuff. I think at this point, considering it's only two words, I may just go into thinking. And if I need a word, then I'm probably going to find it. There are identities to be discovered. Wait, because there's two circles here, am I missing... I'm missing... I'm missing way more than I thought I was. What am I missing here? Okay, uh... Hmm. Because from here, I can't go, like... Can I go even further sideways here? What if I go, like... No, if I go up here, I don't go up into this, like, tower. Well, I know what that does, at least. Um, What does this mean? This Nagana bring Gad Bulbaza. Ha, ah, let's go back here. Tomorrow your incantation expires, Vito. What? What does this even mean? What incantation is this? What else am I missing around here? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba. Oh, I can go in. Ah, oh. go in this hut. Okay, okay, I found him. Right, who are you? Oh, what have we got here? <gasps> a little bowl with a little happy face. A little bowl with a little angry face. And in it, it has K S K Z V M S V L M. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to be like... Have they earned their supper or not? I don't know, let's talk to you. I agree with Lavu and vote against as well. We have enough disruption from the people who washed up on shore. We do not need more change. I have enough on my plate with all three newcomers being my responsibility. Oh, they're doing a vote for something. I'm glad that Sutul agreed with me. No good ever comes from pointless tinkering. We should focus on the stability of our commune and leave things that work well alone. Okay, children in the commune. We've got one one-year-old, three three-year-olds, two five-year-olds, and six that are older than nine years. Okay. Okay, stop complaining, Vilis. I have more people to take care of than you, and I manage it just fine. And how about you? All right. All right. If this is the result of the vote, I will stop my experiments with the yams. But I still believe I could get something tasty and new in a couple of generations, which would increase the variety in our food. Now, can we talk about the issue of the lazy newcomer? Uh, the... The prince who is, um, not doing enough work. Okay, so I guess they're voting on... The vote here is going to be, like, if he should stop experimenting with the yams. <laughs> and, yeah, you're voting against. You're voting against. I'm guessing they're all vote... These are, like, the votes against, and these are the votes for. So, of course, he'd, he'd be one of the votes for as well. And then there's also another vote for um, tinkering with the yams. <laughs> oh! Oh, hello, we've got the, the Valley Commune laws. Big decisions are voted on by the whole commune. Small decisions, smaller decisions are decided or voted on by the council members. I guess this is the council then. If the council vote is tied, whoever is available from the commune joins the vote. Council responsibilities. Guardian of males represents and cares for the males of the commune. Guardian of females represents and cares for the females of the commune. Guardian of Agriculture is responsible for farm work and food allocation, and Guardian of Children is responsible for health and education of all young. Well, considering you've got the list of children, I would guess you are the Guardian of the Children, at which point I would guess you are the Guardian of Women. And then, because you're trying to tinker with the yams, I'm guessing you're probably the Guardian of Agriculture. So then he would be the Guardian of the Males, which would make sense if he's looking after all of the newcomers who are all male. And what's that? Oh, year 324. 18 males, 25 females, 12 children. Quite a few people here then. Nice. Right, I think we have all of the important information now. Let's, let's get thinking. Right, well, we know this is 
Tissa Gamini. The Spoiled Prince. And then this, I, ah, uh, I remember his name. <laughs> I remember his name, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. These two, these two are, the, the other two from, from, uh, the, the Lemurian group. Oh, my brain is going blank. I suddenly just don't remember anything. Let me go back to... <laughs> back to the start. Okay, Jayan. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is Jayan then. Because he was the one... I, re I remember him like... He was the one who rigged the vote. He's the one who was like, he he fell for the um, the Lemurian who came to visit. He's the Lankan and he um, he, he had a, a thing with the, the princess and was trying to rig it so that she would win. Hmm. What was his name again? Is he, I think he's Blade Master G, J and G, I think. We will soon find out. And then I think this is Zuberi. I think they uh they may have taken Zubiri captive because if we look at here imprisoned here yeah it's like if you look at this yes the the safety of the Lemurian priest's son Zubiri Kara so it's listed here as guarding and ensuring the safety of him but they they're basically just holding him captive to find out more about the golden idol <laughs> That makes sense. Okay, so we've got these. Now we need to figure out who the council members are. So we can get the... Uh, the names here. No, where... One of them... There was this... Le let me find where they referred to each other by their names. It was in here, right? It was, uh... Uh, stop complaining, Veerless. Okay, this guy's Veerless. We got his name. So we know that his surname begins with an M as well now. Because the, the little icon says VM. So he's either Mata or Mongo. And then... I'm glad that Sutil agreed with me. No good ever comes from pointless tinkering. So... with Lavu and vote against as well. So then that implies this is like the tiebreaker vote. Sutil. Sutil is the name of um, the one who joined the tiebreaker vote then. So I'm guessing she voted no stop tinkering. Uh, he also voted against tinkering. I'm guessing she voted for the tinkering. And so did he. So then they had to get a villager in for the tie break, which would be Sutil, who agreed to go against it. Okay, so we know that you are Lavu, then. We got more names. Got more names. Nice. So they, they both have the... <laughs> We found out both of the ones with the M surname. Oh wait, SV! So we know that Sutil is going to have the V surname. So it's Sutil Vito. Who joined the tiebreaker vote. Okay, interesting. Also, Zariot, thank you for the dictionary narration. Let me grab my dictionary. This stream is sponsored by the letter E. And also by me having a big stretch before I read. Thank you for the posture check. <laughs> big stretch. Ah, big stretch. Let me sit up straight. For the letter E, we have... This is quite interesting, considering what's going on at the moment in the game. We have the word enclave. 
or enclave? Enclave? I, I've always said enclave, but my dictionary is pronunciation guide is being very vague with it. I've always said enclave. I don't know if that's wrong. I may just not know things. <laughs> but either way, noun. One, a small territory surrounded by a larger territory whose inhabitants are of a different culture or nationality. Or two, a group that is different from those surrounding it. For example, a male enclave. Uh, the origin is the old French for enclose. And now you know. Also, Miyokocho, hello, welcome, welcome. Something about this reminds you of Oberdin. It's it's so similar in the way you have to like use words and piece things together and discover things. It's actually how I was recommended it. I was recommended this after playing Oberdin and people saying it's very like similarly like styled, like it's a similar type of gameplay. It's such a good game, though. It's It's been such an amazing game so far. Uh, I'm currently on the, the last DLC for it, so if you want to play it yourself, there will, there will be spoilers abound in here. <laughs> but it's, it's such an amazing game. It's so clever. It's, it's my kind of logic puzzle. I love, like, deductive reasoning. Like, when, when you figure things out, when you have all the clues and you have to piece them together to... Oh my god, hold on, sorry. Uh, there is a massive spider on my wall. Hold on. Uh, c oh no, uh... Do I have a glass? Do I have a glass? I do have a glass. Hold on. I'll be right back, sorry. Uh... Uh, spider removed. I threw it out the window. <laughs> like, I'm okay with tiny spiders, but when, when when I can fully see, like, the body and all of the legs, that's a little too big to be in my bedroom with me. So then I, I take them outside. But we got it. Anyway, <laughs> Lyra, hello! Welcome, welcome! Oh, uh, on, on sounds correct if it's from French. Yeah, it's like fr the French pronunciation, like envoy. But it's it just surprised me because the dictionary in, like the pronunciation guide in the dictionary said just like envoy. But that sounds wrong to me. Oh, it said like enclave. But en enclave, I... It just doesn't, it, does, it just sounds weird to me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it feels a bit like cheating if Dictionary Redeem gets a word that doesn't sound like it starts with the picked letter. Maybe maybe I do another one then, as well. A freebie. A freebie now that the spider is free. Right, letter E. See what we get this time. This time we have... Ear pierce. Ear, 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 ear piercing. With a hyphen in between it. Apparently that's one word. Ear piercing. It's an adjective that means loud and shrill. It's not actually talking about piercing ears, it's talking about the adjective ear piercing. If something is ear piercing, it is loud and shrill. Like my uru voice. <laughs> but thank you for the dictionary redeem. Oh, thank you for the headpats too. <laughs> headpats, I'm gonna have a sip of monster too. I feel like I've earned it after bravely defeating the spider. It was a really big spider. I should have taken a photo of it. Oh. oh, missed opportunity. I should have taken a photo of it before I threw it out the window. <laughs> I was not thinking about that, though. I was thinking about freeing my space as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's a friend that must be protect protected from Tiffy, but I did it so that Tiffany would not eat it. I'm, I'm helping the spider. <laughs> Right, anyway, so we know that Sutil Vito is the one who joined the tiebreaker vote. And so now we need to figure out these names. So 
We can look at the initials. We know they both begin with a K. The ones who voted for it, these two, they both have names beginning with K. So we need to figure out who's who. I think someone said, uh, Kruplu and her earlier on, if I remember correctly. How do I get out of here? Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> was it you? No, was it you? Zano. Zano will not be happy if you continue to shirk your duties. Which one is Zano? Who knows? Oh, maybe the agriculture one. Hmm. Uh, was it you? Oh, sometimes I think that Kula votes against Mongo just to spite him. Okay, Kula... Well, Kula's one of these. That doesn't help. I think they're, bo they're both Ks. Yeah, they're, they're both Kula and Krupu. That does not help. Never mind. Over here. Oh, Matter taught us that the children can play with them. Matter. So, is that you? Because you're looking after the children. Is it Lavu Matter? It might be Lavu Matter. LM, Lavu Mata, that would make sense. So then that would mean that he is Mongo. Okay, okay, we've got more names. Now we need to figure out who these two are. Oh, we might be able to find out more with the agriculture side of things here. Oh, Kula gave me a lot of tasks today. I better not cross her. Kula, Kula is female. This is Kula, Kula. And this is Kruplu. And then... One is KS and the other is KZ. So it's Zano and Stern. And I think... I saw here... No... Yeah, I think Zano is the agriculture one because it says here you're shirking your duties and they had all of the the peas so i think we have Kripla zano and kula sterner and now this this is really easy to fill in now because i basically use this to figure out <laughs> who is who so it should just be this yeah! Like that. Right, now, order the tiles chronologically. Oh! Ooh! Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. Uh, people who write dictionary should stop being cowards and remove the spaces and hyphens like Homestuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, but make it so that everybody has to have a typing quirk from now on. Just, like, make it the law. <laughs> What would mine even be? I just write jopping at the end of all my sentences. <laughs> oh, what would be my pester chum handle? I don't even remember, like, how they work, how how you figure them out. No, I, I can't go, I can't think about Homestuck again. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> I'll call the spider back for a quick photo. I wish I could, but I think he is, um, two stories lower than me right now. <laughs> And I don't want to go outside. But it's it's okay. He's free now. He's not in a room anymore. He can go and, like, find flies and stuff. Right. That... I guess I can just, like... What What is this? Uh, well, banishes. That seems like it makes sense. Oh, I can move them around. Okay, how does it start? How do we start here? Um, wh what is going on? What is going on? What is happening here? What is... What is... What is happening? Protection from... 
I don't know what's happening here. What is the order of this story? This is wild. Maybe it'll help if I actually fill out this scroll first. Maybe the scroll will help me figure things out. Uh... Okay, so we've got here, somebody went to the something and spoke the something, because according to local tradition, whenever the something endangers the something, the something goes and something the something to the something until the next time. After the something was spoken, the something something was activated to something something and something something died. Okay, well we know this part is the golden idol was activated to reduce lifespan. Uh, after the incantation was spoken. Okay, so on... Here we go. Incantation. Somebody went to the... The Sentinel? Is this like the... Is this the Sentinel? What is this? Mm. Oh, tower. There's, there's literally the word tower. Never mind. I'm... <laughs> I'm silly. Right, somebody went to the tower and spoke the incantation. Because according to local tradition, whenever the... I guess the brute endangers the community. The, uh, the dweller goes and banishes the brute to the tower until the next time. Is, that's gonna be uh, what this over here is about. Here, yeah, tomorrow your incantation expires, Vito. So I guess is it Vito who went then? Yeah, I guess Sutil Vito is the one who went to speak the incantation to uh, to repeat the incantation because it ran out? Or it's running out? Let's see if that's right. Okay, it, it is not right. But we can think this through. We can think this through. Also, hi, well, hi, Nathan. Welcome, welcome. Right, uh, it's something here. It's like, it's about the local tradition. What, what was that poem? Wait, you had, you, you, you mentioned the poem, right? Yeah, the Exodus came first, then finding of a cursed, last tragedy dispersed. Okay, that's gonna be how we figure this out. I've already forgotten what it said. Uh, the exodus came first. Okay. <laughs> the exodus came first. So... Like, vanishes. Like, dweller. Tower. Wait, emerges? Kill someone? Okay, working out from this, we can see here this, when there's the helmet, this is to do with the incantation. So the incantation, the ones with the blue helmet are the later on ones. So this is like when it, first starts everyone's all like learning how things work together so here it's like they got to this tower this creature emerged and killed them went on like a killing spree so then maybe they right away I'm, I'm still not sure like I think they they would have discovered this with the incantation they call it out here and The bad guy runs away. Oh! They f they go to where it was, find the little helmet thing, speak the incantation, and it's sent back into its tower. Haha. Haha. -ha. Yes, I think that's right. I don't think it's in the right place, but I think that's right. Tragedy dispersed. A finding of a... I'm so... Hmm... Yeah, wait, no, it, it, it reads out. Uh, here, it's like Sentinel discovers community protection. That's like a sentence. That's like a, a full sentence. Because uh, then I'm like, it could be 
Lemurian ancestors banishes brood. No, that's not quite right. But here, if we got like brute emerges from tower. No, it's like, uh. uh Lemurian ancestors. Dweller. Ancestors dweller. <laughs> Brute emerges from tower. I think this is wrong. But I need to figure this out. I gotta figure this out. Also, Bronzo, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome in! Hi, sorry, you you joined right as I'm like in full brain power mode. <laughs> Got all the brain cells whirring, trying to figure out what the heck is going on here. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Oh my goodness. I'm. I think this is right. This. Uh. The. The Sentinel discovers community protection. That feels right to me. This feels like it makes sense as like a story too. It's like this thing is running around, but this person finds the helmet, with the incantation on, recites the incantation, and it like, runs off back to the tower. <laughs> Ah, I'm... This is wild. It's like here, it's... Uh... I feel, I, this feels so right to me, but this is gonna be like the three lines. The first one is the Exodus, then Finding of Accursed, then tragedy dispersed. So I think I'm in the right position for the here, it's discovering the community protection. So first it's like where they're banished and they started a, a new commune. So they were all banished. They ended up on this island. They started settling down. Then they found this tower Um, unleashed whatever was inside it. It started running riot. But then they discovered the incantation to keep it at bay. And it scuttles back to its hole. <laughs> oh. Okay, two or fewer slots are incorrect now. So, Brute... Oh, Brute Ancestors banishes Lemurian. Could it be that? No. So these are right. These are right. Lemurian banishes... no. We're close then with this. I just need to figure out which parts are wrong. Brute banishes... oh! Lemurian ancestors! Wait, is, is it just... Oh yeah! Oh yeah, I feel smart. I feel smart now, okay. Okay, so now from this, uh, I think... It's the sentinel. The sentinel banishes the dweller. So is is this creature the dweller then? With the sentence? I'm because it's here we've got brute banishes Lemurian ancestors. Dweller emerges from tower. Sentinel discovers community protection. So is this thing called the dweller then? Hmm. Very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I worked very hard to get to this point. <laughs> Yeah, I think he went to the tower and spoke the incantation because whenever the dweller endangers the community, yes, the sentinel banishes the dweller. Yeah, I think this is right. Yes! Oh! I did it! I did it! Oh, feels good. <laughs> that was really tricky to figure out, though. It got easier when I realized it made a full sentence when I put them in that order. <laughs> but, oh, that was interesting. The scroll has been fulfilled. No hints accessed. Yay! Sutil Vito was the designated sentinel for the Monkey Paw Island community. I guess that's why he didn't do any other quote-unquote work. Because he was the designated sentinel, that was his work. 
When the time came, in accordance with local tradition, he took up his armor and set forth to the tower. There he met his demise, when the golden idol was used on him to reduce his lifespan. Ooh. <laughs> Monkey Poor Island seems like a really inauspicious name. I know, right? It's, I can't see anything ever going unexpectedly over there. <laughs> right, let's see what we got now. Ooh. Sutil lived like a sentinel and died like a true sentinel. And now I must ask, who is ready to take his place? It's so loud. Who wants to be the next sentinel? This is my chance. I must... Oh! Of, of course he'd say that. As the only royal present... It is clear that I should take the title of Sentinel. I feel like he's only saying that. This is so loud, wow. I think Tissa is only saying that because he saw the old man not doing anything around camp and he wants an excuse to not do anything around camp. Yeah, exactly, yeah, he just wants to be lazy. He was just like, why is that old man not doing any work? Oh wait, the old man not doing any work is dead. Okay, I'll be the next one not doing any work. What an idiot. What an awful, awful guy. <laughs> right, let's start the next case. Right here, the Lemurian vampire strikes. Oh. <gasps> oh. Ah. Well. That sure is a human skeleton. That sure is, huh? Hmm. Also, stale fishies, hello! To be fair, you also spend most days not wanting to do any work. That's very true. <laughs> I think that's very relatable. But uh, this guy is... He, he's just an awful person anyway. But it's okay, he's dead now. He's, he's looking very dead. Oh no! The rat is breathing and appears to be deeply asleep. Okay, I was scared for a moment. I thought this was a herd rat. It's, it's okay, they're just sleepy. They're just EP. We're all good. <laughs> to say you will not be missed. See, I he just took the role of Sentinel, which is clearly a dangerous role because this guy just died. Just so he didn't have to do any work. But it seems things did not go as planned. Also, this is a very interesting kind of vampire. I think I can guess what kind of vampirism is happening here. And I think it may be Golden Idol supplemented. <laughs> uh, certainly draining a bit more than blood, I think. Right, let's see. Oh. What is this? An overturned jug of fruit juice? An overturned pot of honey? Hmm. All right, what do you have to say? This is impossible. The prince bolted the door from the inside after his last gift arrived, and Jayan and I stood guard the whole night in shifts. A stone spear and a wooden cube consisting of two parts. Well, it doesn't matter if you're standing watch if there's an open window right here. Open window, window's a simple opening in the wall. All you gotta do is point the idol through that. Closing the door's not gonna help. <laughs> oh, this is definitely... He's been drained. He's been very drained. <laughs> First, just minutes ago, we knocked on the door and there was no response. Second, we became worried, so Zuviria and I forced it open. Third, the room was empty, but for the sentinel skeleton. Finally, then you started arriving. Thank you for putting it all in order. <laughs> right, they've both got these cubes. I wonder if they're like guard cubes. There's a little... Little fish bone. A half eaten fish. That sorry, that's half eaten. That is a bone. That is a skeleton. How is that <laughs> Okay, alright, um Yum fish bones, I guess. We have been punished by Tower Dweller. <gasps> this is its revenge. It has turned our new sentinel to bones and escaped by its power of flight. Well, we know how the the golden idol can give you flight as well so yeah that's that's nice 
Isn't this a, a lovely scenario? As I ran here, I did not notice it fly away while you were forcing down the door. Could it still be here, or is it long gone? You've only got part of it, cube. Poor boy. It does indeed seem that Dweller does not look kindly on those who wish to confront it. Now we need another sentinel. He tried to confront the Dweller? Huh. Interesting. I wonder if he realized it was the Golden Idol and because he would have been told by his father the secrets of the Golden Idol, I bet he got greedy and wanted to claim it and it backfired magnificently. Why are there so many gems in here too? Was he literally just hoarding gems to take away with him? Just like the toys the children play with, just being like, well, these are worth stuff to me, so I will take them. Oh, she's having a time. <laughs> Have I missed something? I was doing my morning meditation when I heard the noise. Okay, you've got a full cube. You've got the other half of the other woman's cube as well. Why? Also a stone knife and a necklace made of a few colorful beads. Oh, col colorful beads. I wonder if the children made that. It's very cute. Ooh, what have we got in here? Okay. We've got jars of honey. And we've got big clay jugs filled with some liquid, which I'm guessing is going to be fruit juice, if because they look the exact same as this. Then over... Oh, fish. There's a few fried fish in there. And... What is that? That's... An empty something. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the door. A large door that has been forced open. Oh, I, I'm guessing they forced it open just now because there was no response from inside. I see. Right. Okay, I can go... I can go this way. I can go up. Let's let's go across. Let's see if the vampire is still here. Okay. Oh no, it goes that way. Okay. What does up do? Okay, up just does like the the overview then. Okay, well let's 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 start going this way then. Got a nice oh look at the fish. Oh, that looks like a piranha. <laughs> Happy little fish. You fishing? Hey, sister, look what I caught. This snapper fish hid a shiny in its mouth. I have a new playstone. Did you have a good sleep? I left before you woke up to get the best fishing spot. You did? Oh my goodness, what is that fish? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> that, is, that is a terrifying fish. <laughs> I, it's not showing in the, the on-screen chat, but it did drop on my head. That is a terrifying fish, thank you. Uh, I had a golden ring set with a diamond. We've got a dead snapper fish and a stone knife. Okay, so this is a snapper fish. There it is, thank you. <laughs> what is that? That's terrifying. That's a snapper fish then. So then these are a different type of fish. I am well, brother. I hope Tissa learned his lesson and both will leave me alone now. Whoa. Huh? Oh, another part of a cube. I wonder what the partial cubes mean. I'm so curious. And and both will leave me alone now? Like what? Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess we're going up. What's going on down here? Ooh, what are these? Oh, they're, they are burial urns. I see. Each with different icon icons on them. Tower Dweller could not act from so far away. I've been staring at it all night and nothing has happened. We need only beware if the Tower Dweller moves. Then we should run to the village and warn the Sentinel. Okay, you've got a full cube about you. You've also got a full cube. I, 
you not afraid looking at the dweller all the time? What if it looks right back at you and, and steals your flesh? I, is that a thing it does? Is that a thing it does? Do you think these ancient sentinel bones will protect us? Oh, these are all of the, the burial urns of every sentinel before now, I guess. Well, you've got some new bones to add to your collection now. <laughs> I, oh, there's more. I can go along backwards as well. Okay, so we're starting at the end this time. And I can go back. I want to stay here to begin with. But I'm very curious to know what happened just before this. There you are. Hello. Hello. Well, that's the life one again. Doesn't seem like there'd be a line of sight from here, though, to get in here. Like, the, the window's, like, on this wall. You wouldn't be able to... <gasps> Unless it can reflect. Unless the beam from the idol can reflect on the water and bounce in the window. That might be, like, really far-fetched. But it might be possible. <gasps> Oh, especially if the if a snapper fish had a shiny thing in its mouth that could reflect the beam. Maybe. Oh, oh, I think I might be a genius. It, it's probably not that now. <laughs> but if it is, I want it to be known now that I'm a genius. Let's go back. Oh, there's so many places to explore here. Let's start down here. What's... Ah, supplies. This is where we get the, the honey and whatever's in this bag as well. Let's go to the lake. Let's have a look. That traitor Tissa. He and Kula have been thick as thieves in all the last votes. Just this and then one more basket of gifts to deliver to the Sentinel and I am done. I hope that little gnat enjoys what I give him. <laughs> what? Give him... What the heck? Oh, wait, maybe maybe he gave him a rat. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him to give him a rat. <laughs> what do we got here? Uh, gifts to deliver from each guardian. We've got juice, honey, tasty fish, and lots of eggs. Okay, the empty bag was eggs then. Interesting. <laughs> the honey jars look uncomfortably similar to the burial urns. <laughs> Oh, yes. First he asked us to bring him all the shiny playstones of children. That was weird. Now he's demanding fruit juice from me. He is a difficult sentinel to please. Of, of course he's being a little asshole. He's always been a little asshole. He was brought up that way. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sounds like he's been adapting very well to life here by being very demanding and hard to please. Ryan, hello! What's happening here? Good question. Very good question. Um, we are finding out what's happening here. But it looks like it involves um, people's lifespans being drained. In a great... It's, it's a great happy time. <laughs> but welcome, welcome! I hope you're doing well. What's going on over here? Ooh... Uh, red gourd, very bitter, cures stomach ache. Spotted gourd, seeds are good for insomnia or if someone needs to be sedated. Ooh. Yellow short gourd, flesh tastes bad, but seeds work well as a sweet spice for drinks. Okay. So these ones, okay. So this one is very bitter. This one, the seeds are good for insomnia. And this one, the flesh tastes bad. Okay, so triangle tastes bad. Spiky is sleep related. And I've already forgotten the other one. Bitter stomach ache. Okay. Because what was the... Hold on, I'm going to go back again. Right, this has been... 
this has got the the spiky the spiky one in it that's the one for like treating sleep and stuff and the fact that this rat is deeply asleep i think this was spiked with sedatives both the honey and the fruit juice it looks like it was spiked with sedatives this also had the spices added to it i guess to make it taste better but yeah that's oh i don't i don't want to look at that yet but yeah that's interesting Yeah, the, the flesh is bad, but the seeds are a sweet spice for drinks. So it was a, a spiced drink that has also been dosed with something to either keep him awake or keep him asleep. Oh, local fish of the village lake. Red snapper. Oh, lake. A vicious flesh eater will tear anything apart in minutes. Tasty. Green snapper. Harmless, but tastes like dung. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so the... The red snapper is the one that looks like a piranha. It does make sense. They, they are very tasty, but they're also a little harmful. These ones are just, they taste bad, but they're also safe. <laughs> they don't look like they know how to bite you. They don't even have teeth for a start. Oh, you're cuddling right now. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah, right, I wanna go look at this again. Yeah, so this is where they gather the, the honey and the berries, I guess. Right, let's go in here. Look, th this asshole, look at him. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, just wearing a crown, gathering the children's toy gems, which are real gems, uh, just drinking. All he's doing is drinking. <laughs> Combine NyQuil and DayQuil to make Quill. Yeah, all the time, all the time. I love that post. <laughs> oh, look at him, though. Like This life is more worthy of a prince. And now I have some sweet honey to enjoy with the sweet juice. And tonight I will meet with you at last, my golden-haired beauty. Oh, my goodness. He's just hitting on that poor girl, and she does not care. She is not interested. But he seems like the kind of guy who would not take no for an answer. He'd be like, oh, I just need to change your mind, baby. Come in over here. I hate him. Wow. God, what an, what an awful guy. Anyway, uh, he's got a lot of honey. He's got a lot of wine. Well, sweet juice. And the door is closed with a heavy latch. He's literally just locking himself in here. Drinking. While everyone else does all of the work. Right, let's have a look. Oh, down here. Outside. <laughs> yeah, you're right. A prince taking no for an answer. Of course not. Dare not try, Sentinel. I will peel your flesh until only bones are left. Well, that was not an empty threat. That definitely ended up happening. But interesting, there was a warning and he still went ahead with whatever the heck he was planning on doing. Uh, hate to say karma, but... Uh... <laughs> Sahelia, I am glad you have finally agreed to cooperate. I understand that you want to be concealed. Do not worry, I have done as you instructed. The Ian family name will not be tarnished. Okay, so this is Sahelia Ian. Good. Then tell Momga to come to my hut for your eggs. The basket will wait for him there. Do note that I will do this once tonight and never again. <gasps> what are they doing for the eggs then? Are they doing something to the eggs? Are they like tampering with the eggs? The eggs were the only thing we didn't see before with the the things that were the gifts that were given. So, hmm. That is interesting. All right, now what's going on up here? You are the one who was complaining. Yeah, I think she was complaining about what's his face hit hitting on her. <laughs> oh no, you were the guard. Were you the guard? No, I think she was the guard. She was the one being hit on. 
It happened last night. I was walking with Kula when suddenly we saw someone run down the stairs from the platform that leads to the tower. I could not see who that was, but they were carrying a sack with something. <gasps> Suspicious. How do you tamper with eggs? I mean, I don't know. How do you fly? How do you steal someone's lifespan? <laughs> She was wise to send you to report this. Find a partner, get two spears, and stand guard near the tower. If the dweller or someone in league with it can enter our village, we must be aware. Aha, so that's why they were on guard the next night. Yeah. There is something strange going on here, but I am sure these extra guarding duties are an overreaction. Nevertheless, we will have to go along with it. Tomorrow we march to the tower and the dweller will scare your village no more. That sounds like a really bad idea that sounds like the kind of thing that is a very bad idea considering all of this which happened <laughs> right what's down here always follow your motto what well five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve why does it count up to 12 over here? And a massive, seemingly immovable stone door. I wonder if the stone door is going to be moved. <laughs> oh. It's a projector. I think this is a projector. I think these, this is where the, the dweller's messages are being written and projected onto the wall to scare everybody. This is the communication system. This looks like a... Ah, that's, this is interesting. Okay, so it's, it's inside this building to then be displayed on the outside of the building in an ominous manner. That's interesting. Okay, let's go look down here see how the urns are doing. Why are they out of order? It's really interesting that they're out of order. Oh no, they're not. The, the oldest one is just in the middle. Okay, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen of them. Okay. Let's have a look at the tower then. How is the dweller doing? What are you doing? You're still on the life one. It's set up to take life away. Hold on, let us do this. It's still set up to take life away though. Unless it was activated and activated again. That's... That's interesting, because that makes me think that the idol is not what drained him. But then what would it be? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go further back. Let's head further back. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh. Look how pretty the lake is in the evening. It's orange. <laughs> right, yeah, the fish are in there. You do not know how horrible it is when all the women in the village hate you. Kula invents new lies about me every day and I could not take it anymore. But I have found someone who has agreed to help me help me out and solve this problem once and for all. Then do not do it, beautiful Sahelia. Follow your heart. No one can make you do something that goes against your nature. Do not do what? Hmm. Oh, she did something. What's, I'm so curious about what's going on with these eggs. Right, oh, what's everyone meeting in here for? Oh, jeez, okay. It's all the same. Oh, the mottos of the guardians. Guardian of males, protect the weak. Guardian of females, we listen, we plan, we organize. Guardian of agriculture, the diligent shall have full bellies. Guardian of children, always preserve the ancient practice. Okay, 17 males, 25 females, 12 children. Alright. What is going on in here then? Let's start with these two, because they are not part of the, the council. 
Too long we have lived in fear of our lives. I am your new sentinel, and I say that the next time I am summoned to deal with Tower Dweller, I will not just banish it, but crush it once and for all. He's... I hate this guy. <laughs> I hate this guy. He acts like he knows everything when he knows nothing. Oh, he's, he's so... He has such a superiority complex, and it's infuriating. I am fluent in the secret language of Old Lemurian. The nature of the so-called Dweller is clear to me. I will provide the noble Tissa with the right incantations to deal with it. The right incantations, oh my. Oh my! Oh my goodness, Corey! Hello, welcome in! Now it's a party, we brought the booze. Oh, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody, hi! <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? Oh my goodness, come on in Raiders. Welcome, welcome. Um, we're having a little party over here too. Um, people may possibly be dying, but uh, don't don't worry about that. That's, that's not a problem. <laughs> welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the raid and thank you so much for all the new follows too. Welcome. Retep Cobalt, Mike the Cat and Commander Greywolf. Thank you for following. Welcome in, and thank you for the headpads too. But how's it going? How's your stream? You're doing the uh, the birthday subathon stuff still, aren't you? Oh, hi fi Rush! Wait, yeah, you were doing the, the New Game Plus, weren't you? How's it going? I, I hope it went well. <laughs> that is absolutely fine. I know you were... Like, you were streaming earlier on. I was, I was like, lurking in the stream for a bit because I, I really like hi fi Rush. I think it's such a cool game. But yeah, you, with your, with the subathon, please. Oh, just regular playthrough. But you did it. You finished it though. That is good then. I, I hope you had a fun stream. <laughs> please go get some rest. You deserve all the rest. You need to rest up. But thank you so much for choosing to bring the raid this way. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's sadly no real new game plus mode. I, it's it's like I guess it's like a personal new game plus. Like I played and play again. <laughs> I hope you had fun with it though, that game was so cool. I still need to play it. I've seen so many other people play it, but I've not actually played it myself yet. But it looks so fun. Although like, I feel like a little part of me is like, I think if I did play it, I would probably play it off stream so I can get all the licensed music. <laughs> I want to listen to Prodigy. <laughs> but uh, I'm amazed at how well the... Uh, like the the non-licensed music matches up with like the vibes of the licensed music too like they did an incredible job with the soundtrack it's so good but yes i i hope you rest well thank you so much for bringing the raid this way and i will wish you the sweetest dreams the sweetest dreams but yes anyone who's new here hello i'm Liri. i'm a pink haired cat girl from the uk and i love comfy games and puzzle games and um 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 this game is not very comfy, <laughs> but it's a really, really cool puzzle game. It is an incredible puzzle game. I have been having such a blast with the puzzles in it. It's the kind of game that makes me feel so smart when I figure everything out. It's really, really cool. <laughs> but uh, yes, thank you so much everyone for, for coming over with the raid and hopefully you enjoy your time here if you decide to to stick around for a bit. Uh, it's it's definitely not the comfiest game in the world, but it's very, very cool and very clever. But uh, I am quite a way through the game now. I've actually finished the base game for this game and I finished the first DLC pack. I've just started the second DLC this time. I'm on the, the second case of it. And it has been so cool so far. It is, I feel like these have been a, a little trickier to figure out like the DLC has been a bit a bit harder to figure out than the base game was and I'm not sure if I feel like it's in a good way or a padding it out kind of way at the moment but either way I'm, I'm having a blast I'm having an incredible time <laughs> it's such a cool game it's basically like it's a deductive reasoning kind of game it's all based in logic. Like you're given a scenario, like a freeze frame of like a murder scene or a, about to be a murder scene. And you have to figure out what's going on just by observing the clues and getting keywords 
Where's my cursor? Here it is. You get keywords as you go along. Like, for example, if like if I talk to this guy, like every now and then there'll be something in the dialogue. You can click it and you can grab that word, and it's added to your little lexicon down here. At the moment, I'm at 43 out of 48 keywords for this for this scenario. <laughs> And yeah, it's it's a really really cool game. If you if you like logic puzzles and like murder mysteries, figuring things out, this game it does it impeccably. It is so well made. It is so well crafted. And uh, they've actually announced a I don't know I don't know whether to call it a sequel because it is it's the same universe, but it's set very far in the future from this one. No, it, it is still a sequel. I, it is still a sequel. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's a really, really good game. And I've, I've been having so much fun with it. it. It makes me feel so smart when I figure things out in this. <laughs> oh, I'm still so curious to know if I'm... If my theories so far are correct or not. Oh, I even have my own monster flavor. It's... I wish it was my own flavor. You know what? It is my own flavor. I claim this now. I claim Monster Energy Ultra Rosa as my own. <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm also a big fan of Monster Energy, specifically the pink can and the teal can and the white can of the Ultra. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Let me have a sip of my Monster Energy Ultra Rosa. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag Monster, please sponsor more things than motocross, please, please. <laughs> Ah. Ha. Huh. Oh yeah, anyway, we decided at the start of the stream that I'm going to learn how to do like motocross sports racing just so I can be sponsored by Monster. I don't know how to drive, but I'm considering that like a a minor setback at the moment. I don't think that's like a big deal when it comes to sports driving to know how to drive anyway. <laughs> Anyway, first motocross VTuber, let's go. <laughs> it'll, it'll just be like, oh, so you seem to be a huge motocross fan. Why is that? I really like Monster Energy. <laughs> or maybe I'll I'll just start streaming all of the, the Monster Energy Supercross games. I, I think that probably won't happen. Also, Machi Poco and Lord Zenith, thank you for the follows as well. Thank you for deciding to stick around a bit. I hope you enjoy your time here. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad Cory brought the raid this way. I hope you can rest well. <laughs> I'm so glad the subathon's been going well. Right, hey, where was I? What was I doing? I was seeing what's going on here. Uh, I will provide the noble Tissa with the right incantations to deal with it. That did not work out, we know now, because we have seen the future. But let's see what this note says. How, how his diary is going. It is day 26 on the island. The council does not take me seriously. I cannot just go and bring down that thing in the tower. I need the community's support before I make some changes here. Uh, it is day 27 on the island. Success! Tissa was very receptive to the idea of us destroying Dweller. His motivation may not be as noble as mine, but I must seize any opportunity. Yeah, Tissa's motivation is just to become a hero and not have to do anything. <laughs> Let us hope we manage to convince the council tomorrow. Okay, that's today then, so it's February 7th. And they're currently trying to convince the council to let Tissa go and, <laughs> and try and destroy the Dweller. Which definitely wouldn't go badly, of course. Yes, enough of this. We must strike and bring down that monster at last. Let's go to war with it. I have a bad feeling about this. What if it puts everyone in the village in danger, including the children? My heart says we should preserve our ancient practice. Here we go. See, I got preserve and practice from the text here now. It has never let us down. Oh, oh the colorful beads are spelled properly this time. Nice. This is a terrible idea. Violence is never the answer. No wonder Virlis is so keen on it. But we must forget this plan and return... Return? Return and two. I get, I get the word two as well. Our usual duties. 
Oh, oh. Okay, this is interesting. You gave me your word. I have your promise, Cupath. I upheld my end of the bargain and voted against Mongo in the last three meetings. I want her. I know exactly what this is. Tissa did this. Tissa. I'm pretty sure Tissa wrote this. Because he fell for the, the blonde haired girl. The blonde haired girl who was complaining about Tissa going after him all the time. And so he's basically like treating her like a commodity here, going, hey, you're in charge of the women. I'm going to rig the votes for you, and then you give me woman. Like, what the hell? As if I couldn't hate this guy anymore. He's awful. This guy is awful. It's. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's... That's the other half of that cube. He's... Oh, he's... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved. I'm... How dare he? Are you sure you can pull this off, Tissa? If you are, let us try it. Okay, so it was a draw. Who? I wonder... See, clearly someone broke the tie with, like, an affirmative, yes, let's try this. But we don't know who. We don't have the opportunity to know who. Because it's not letting me look at it this time. Hmm. That is very interesting. Okay, let's head back out of here. I... Oh. 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 Yeah, it's her. It's her. She's she's the one who Tissa has taken a liking to. And yeah, apparently the the guardian of the women is prepared to make bargains. To, to, oh, that that's so that's so bad. That feels awful. Right. Yep. There's the burial urns as usual. Nothing. Nothing different here, I don't think. Yeah, they look the same to me. Oh, the music's so... Oh. Sinister. Oh. Oh. Oh, when the music changes like that, that's terrifying. Oh, it, it really... It fits the scenario so perfectly. Oh, look at you. It's red. Wait, it's red. It's red. It's red, but then we go here. It's blue. And then we go here. And it's still blue. Hmm. Hmm. What is happening here? I'm also missing one word. <laughs> I'm missing one one word. What am I missing? Eh. A single No, I don't want to look at that yet. I'm missing one word. What is this one word I'm missing? I've picked up these against your nature. Ba 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 ba. I'm just gonna mouse over everything. Da 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 da. What is this word? Let's go back to the council. Is there a word I can grab in here? I feel like I've got them all. It's gonna be in the silliest place, like when I missed the hatch in the last DLC. <laughs> hmm. Eh, eh. Maybe you? Because it's like, as I read the text, I, I try to mouse over it while I'm doing it. Because there are so many words which are so easy to miss. Also, I'm so curious about the promise cubes. Oh, wait. Do they use those, like, if they make a deal with someone? I think... Oh, I keep clicking the wrong thing. I think it might be if they make a deal with somebody, they split the cube with them. Hold on, I want to check my theory. We go to here, because she was here. Who, who else had a split cube? There was someone else... Oh, no, it was... In the latest one, up oh, after all, all of that, yeah. Because uh, here, I hope Tissa learned his lesson and both will leave me alone now. It's with the both. Oh, yes. Uh, the, the Guardian of Women and Tissa. What did she do? What did she do to those eggs? 
She did something to the eggs, that's for sure. Who has the other half of her cube then? <gasps> you do! Guardian of children. Yeah, that's the same... That's the same cube. Yeah, she's got the other half of that. Hmm. Wait, let me go back here. No, she made a deal. She's the guardian of women. She made a deal with the guardian of children. What would that be? Where is she right now? Where is the guardian of children here? Oh, he's just drinking in his room. Awful, awful man. Nothing here, nothing here. Yeah, that's all the information about the fish and the gourds. Which I picked up on and we know that his, uh, his honey and juice was tampered with. Always follow your motto. Like, what does this mean? Why has this got all the numbers? And how does this work? Can I... I don't think I can grab anything from there. It's so dark. I love that it's a, a seemingly immovable stone door. Anything here? Oh! Burial urns. I just realized now why the, the honey... The honey pots look like the burial urns. I'm pretty sure they're like preserving the remains in honey. It looks like there is honey inside these things. Huh. And you're you're still up here with the arrival. Yep, the dweller. Yep, there's the honey, there's the berries. I don't know where she is. I don't know where the guardian of children is right now. Huh. That's really interesting. Yeah, I can't see her in like this time. What if we go back a bit further? I wonder what she's doing around here. Cause here she was, she was worried. She was saying like, I got a bad feeling about confronting the dweller, which makes sense. And over here, because yeah, she's saying, I found someone who's agreed to help me out and solve this problem once and for all. So she got the guardian of children to help her out. But I don't know what she did. <laughs> Something to do with the eggs. Like there was the, the sign saying that like the gifts are, let me go back. Back to here. Where was it? Where was the... Who had the gift list? Where did I find that? Was it... Oh, was it over here? No, the gift list isn't here. Oh, do you have it? Yes, he has it. Okay. So each guardian is giving a different gift. So one juice, two honey, three fish, four eggs. Uh... I'm, ah, uh, I'm guessing he's giving the fish. And I'm guessing he may have given him one of the, the fish that tastes like crap. <laughs> I think because we know that the, the snappers are the ones that taste good. He's fishing up these ones. I think he gave them the fish that taste awful. I think that was his gift. He was like, this guy's an asshole. Um, I'm gonna give him really bad tasting fish. <laughs> and then over here, uh, he he's the one giving the juice. So he gave him juice that was spiked with sedatives, I guess. So then the other two guardians are the ones giving the honey and the eggs. So we know that the honey was spiked as well. And then over here, like, she's got the eggs. What does this even mean? I feel like I'm missing so much context for this. I wonder if it'll make more sense once I go into the thinking panel. 
feel like it might be. Heard that the honey urn thing was supposed to be a quip, not a real thing. Well, uh, hee hee. Hee hee, look at that. There's definitely something in there. Like, they say this is where we keep the bones of our ancestors. That's, that's not just bones. That is not just bones. There's something else in there. Yeah, oh, this one's harder than the last one, if you recall correctly. Yeah, it's... I feel like there's... With the other ones... Oh, harder than the final one. Yes. Okay, that's good to know. So this is, like, the tricky spot. See, the thing that gets me about these is I, I feel like with the DLC... The DLC has been more reliant on the thinking panel giving you context that you need whereas the base game i feel like you could figure a lot of it out before you had to go to the thinking panel and i, I don't know what i think about that i feel like that's a little bit like i wish i could get more context without going into this but i think this is going to be like what gives me more of the pieces all right so let's go in then all right in chronological order which guardian planned to send which gift all right uh Weeks before the murder, somebody became indebted to somebody. Hours before the murder, somebody became indebted to somebody. Okay, uh, hours before the murder... Uh, what's her name? Sahelia Ean. Uh, my phone fell off my desk. That was weird. It wasn't even like hanging over the edge. What the heck? I've got a poltergeist in my room just knocking my phone off my desk. Uh, weeks before the murder. That one is... Where's his name? Oh, show known information. Here we go. The okay, yeah, this is what I need. Okay, we know that weeks before the murder, uh, Tissa became indebted to uh, Kula, and Kula made him keep voting for the ones that she wanted in the council. Hours before the murder, Sahelia became indebted to Lavu for an unknown reason. No, that's not right. Maybe it's... Mm. Hold on, let me go back and have a look again. Yeah, because she's Sahelia. And here, don't worry, the Ian family name will not be tarnished. So she's Sahelia Ian, I can presume from that. Thank you for the door knock too. <laughs> this poltergeist is so rude, wow. First, first it puts a spider in my bedroom, then it makes my phone fall off my desk, then it makes the door knock. <laughs> What's gonna happen next? I feel like I shouldn't say that, like my lights are gonna go off or something. <laughs> Right, let's go back to the hours before the murder. Right, this is the bottom half of the cube. So Sahelia has the top half and she has the bottom half. Uh, if we go back to here, have a look at him. He's got the bottom half. So the bottom half is the one who is indebted. Maybe. So it's the other way around? No, hmm. Hold on, let's go back. Let's go back to hours before the murder. Here, because she's got the part of the wooden cube, and then she has the other part. Unless there's more, unless some- Oh! Wait, where's the other half of his cube? The other half of his cube is just missing. Hold on. Huh. Ah, now it's snoring loudly. <laughs> this poltergeist. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if we look at that, we can see that that is the that is the the stupid fish that tastes like crap. <laughs> so we know what's his face gave him awful fish that tastes awful. And then we look over here. This is where the eggs should have been then. And I'm not seeing any eggs. Yeah, this is all just the, the terrible tasting fish. So that's just like a passive aggressive gift. There's nothing like malicious here. That's just you're you're an asshole. I'm gonna give you fish that tastes like crap. <laughs> but yeah, this is where the eggs should have been then. 
and then this is where the the juice is this is where the honey is and if we look here the triangle one is the one that makes it spiced but then these pointy spiky ones those are the ones that are are used either to treat insomnia or to sedate and i think we can guess by this little rat that's half asleep that it's probably the sedation one <laughs> so both the wine and the honey were spiked all right which other people are around here are either of you indebted nope da 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 Da, 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 just staring at the dweller, nothing is changing. What's going on here? Oh, but, but we've been punished! Oh, disaster! Huh. Yeah, the fact that you've got the other part of the cube, I need to figure out what this means. Like, the, these two have the cubes. I'm pretty sure the cubes are used as a system. As a system to uh, to show, like, if you owe somebody something, then you give them part of your cube until, like, the debt is repaid and then you get it back. I think that's how this works. I just, I'm just doing it the wrong way around, clearly. <laughs> right. Anyway, I can do this one at least, because um... We know what happened here. Uh, somebody put sedative in the gift that was brought to Tissa. Gift? Uh, would it be juice? Would it be honey? Yeah. Well, it was. It was clearly in the juice as well. But I guess honey's the one they wanted here. Someone put sedative in the honey that was brought to Tissa Gamini. Uh. Oh, the night be immediately before the murder, somebody managed to something the something of a something of an something something. An. An. So this begins with A. Could it be an ancient something? Hmm. Right, let's have a look. The night immediately before the murder. That would be this one. Somebody managed to blank the blank of a blank blank? Hmm. Would it be something to do with this, maybe? Or here? Oh, here! No, uh, somebody ran down the stairs from the platform that leads to the tower, carrying a sack with something. <gasps> Just be like, and means the next word starts with an A. Well, well, no, just with a vowel. <laughs> so it's like, if it says an here, I'm like, well, that's going to be a vowel. I mean, it could, it could also clearly be, they managed to something the something of an eggs fish. Could be eggs fish. <laughs> that's true as well, an hour. But I'm, I'm looking at the other words here. Oh, idle. There's also idle, there's also afraid of an af someone managed to something the something of an afraid fish. I think it I think it might be that one actually. Right, let's see what people are doing here. But yeah, they're saying here someone managed to run away with a sack of something. Someone managed to steal steal the gift of an eggs basket. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think I've just... I think I've just... <gasps> it's not disturbed here. It's not disturbed here. It's not disturbed here. Someone managed to seal the bones. Someone managed to steal the bones of an ancient sentinel. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, you just do grammar instinctively and have long forgotten why things are the way they are. That's understandable too. But yeah, it's like, an is if the next word 
doesn't start with like a consonant sound. So that's why things like our would also be an, an hour, because the H is silent. But you wouldn't say an hair, for example. <laughs> but oh, there we go. The night immediately before the murder, someone managed to steal the bones of an ancient sentinel. Why? Why? Why are you stealing sentinel bones? Oh, that's terrifying. Ah, oh, but you would say an heir, yes. An heir to the throne. Right, so we know that you gave terrible fish. Right, so the juice and the honey have already been given. I'm guessing this would be the order then? So if we go juice, honey, fish, and eggs. Let's fill this in. We'll start with juice. Where's the honey? Oh, it's here. Honey, fish, eggs. And with the known information, we know that you are planning to deliver the fish. Uh, Kula was asking about the eggs. You delivered the honey. And you delivered the juice. Oh, incorrect. Okay. Hmm. Two or fewer are incorrect, though. I thought that was right. Oh no, wait. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, guess why is exempt? It's it's because it's like the sound. If it's like a consonant sound, like if it's like an e kind of y. I I can't think of any examples for that. It's like, if you're saying like young, that's got like the hard consonant Y at the start. So that would be a young person or whatever. Yeah, I can't think of any examples where a Y at the start of a word is, uh, is like a soft Y. It's always like in the middle of a word. But yeah, it's like, it's, it's not like if it's a vowel or a consonant, it's if it's like a vowel or consonant sound. So like if there's a silent letter and it makes it sound like it begins with a vowel then that would be an like an hour an air it's also why it's also why i get very confused when i see people say an and then the word h-e-r-b because in the uk we pronounce that with an hard a hard h it is a herb but in america it is an herb <laughs> the h is silent but uh, but no, for, for me, like I, I'm always so confused when I read an an herb because in my in my head, I'm just like an herb. <laughs> that, that sounds weird. <laughs> just little dialect things. Yeah, just so there isn't a guttural stop between words. Yeah, because it, it I, I don't know. It's it sounds a air a apple. It's it's very harsh. It it flows better when you add like the end to make it an apple instead of a apple. It's it's just a bit more like staccato like that. It's interesting to think about though. Right. Two or fewer slots are incorrect. That means I'm like I'm so close. Cooler, just this and then one more basket of gifts to deliver and I'm done. Now he's demanding fruit juice from me. Maybe he's not actually giving the fruit juice, though. No, I think he is. Oh, wait, I wonder if they're just in the wrong order. Oh, the fact that it's two or fewer are incorrect is the bit that's getting me. Because that means it's probably, like, one of the delivery things. At that point, I'm like, then maybe it's Lavu who's delivering the eggs. Because she made a deal with Sahelia. No. 
This is still two or Fiora incorrect, even when I change them around. This is... Hmm. Hmm. Right, let's, let's try... Let's try go through this. Someone wanted to something the something something and so accessed the something's lodge using something and killed something who had been something with something. Afterwards, the murderer blum blum blum. In the next morning, the villagers found the skeleton of the dead... <laughs> Tissagamini. And became really... And became really... Sedated. <laughs> I became really afraid of Tower Dweller. I think that's right. Oh, an Atrium. Yes, that that's a soft, that's a soft Y, and that's because it's like it's got the the vowel, the vowel sound at the start. Became really fish. I think they became really fish. I think they became really flesh. <laughs> afraid. Uh, afterwards, the murderer... What? Returned? Oh, left? Left through a... Window? The murderer would have had to leave through the window, because there's no way to get through the door. So there. Uh, afterwards, the murderer left through a window. I, th I think it's probably that. Unless there's going to be, like, the word escaped or something. No, I don't think there is. Or re returned through a window, maybe. Who knows? Right, somebody wanted to... What did they want to do? So they did things and killed... Tissa. They killed Tissa Gamini, who had been sedated with flesh. <laughs> sedated with honey. Yeah, the only words in the English language like that. Yeah, I, th I, I, I was trying to think of some and I couldn't think of any others. But I can think of loads of words that have a Y in the middle that's just like an E sound. Yeah, I, I, I guess there's lots of like fantasy words too. I feel like a lot of fantasy languages include a lot of Ys, which is always very interesting to me. Uh, so I accessed the... What would be this? The Something's Lodge? Have I missed the word Sentinel somewhere? Because there's no Sentinel here and that feels... No, it's over here. Never mind. So access the Sentinel's Lodge using... Uh... Using a basket? No, oh no, using a... <laughs> using a window. And then left through a window. They access the lodge using a window and kill... The this doesn't feel right, but I'm going to try it anyway. But it's who wanted to do this? Uh, somebody wanted to... Who wanted to do something here? Wanted to punish... Wanted to punish the uh, sentinel sentinel. <laughs> this is wrong. This is very wrong. <laughs> Who wanted to do that too? It's not Sahelia, is it? Did Sahelia do this? Well, it's, it's not filled correctly either way. It's not the sentinel sentinel. <laughs> Be like wanted to preserve the golden idol? I don't know. No, I don't know what I'm putting here. <laughs> what? 
this one is really interesting to try and figure out. I feel like this one is the one where things feel the most vague. I, even after looking at the the thinking panel. Like, usually the thinking panel is really good at helping me, like, figure out what I've been missing. But this one is very... It still feels like I'm missing a lot. It's very interesting. Oh, window, window. Wanted to window the window, window. And so access the windows lodge using a window and killed window, window. Anyway, uh, plan, plan to deliver... Flesh. <laughs> I like how changing that changes to th two or fewer slots are incorrect still. They all plan to deliver flesh. Okay, no, that that was a step too far. That was a step too far. Eggs. No, that one that one is honey then. Where is the honey? There it is. Okay, so the, the, it's these ones that are wrong then. But he was literally fishing! So he planned to deliver fish, right? And you, what, planned to deliver, um... <gasps> no, it's not, okay. <laughs> eggs. Oh, it's not gonna be like Sahelia planned to deliver eggs, right? No. No, that just made it more wrong. Okay. What did Kula plan to deliver then? Let's find her. Here. I'm glad you've agreed to cooperate. I understand you want to be concealed. There. Tell Momgo to come to my hut for your eggs. Oh! So di is Momgo delivering the eggs as well then? Because it's Kula's eggs, but is Mongo the one... No, it's... Which guardian planned to send which gift? Look, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure this is right. Hmm. I wonder what I'm missing. I also wonder who was, uh... Who stole the bones? Who the heck stole the bones from here? What are people doing? The one doing the honey. Lavu delivering the honey. <gasps> maybe, maybe Lavu. <gasps> oh, maybe Lavu took the bones and because she was delivering the honey, like the honey left behind at the crime scene, Sahelia figured it out and no, this is still wrong. Ah. It's so wrong. It's so wrong. But they're definitely... The debt is like between those two, I'm pretty sure. This is so interesting. But, ah, uh, Psychic Salad, hello as well. I don't, I don't think I said hello. Hello. And Floral Shop, hello as well. Welcome. Some big brain riddle stuff. This whole game is super big brain. It's so good. It makes me feel so smart when I figure it out. Anyway, um, it's uh, not the, the sentinel sentinel over here. And I don't think this is right as well. How d how did they enter access the lodge using a door? They didn't just go through the door, okay. I think this last bit is right. I'm, I'm confident in this. I think in the next morning, the villagers found the skeleton of the dead Tissagamini and became really afraid of Tower Dweller because there was a, a, a threat on the wall. They tried to take out Tower Dweller and then suddenly the new sentinel is just a skeleton. I think I would also be scared of Tower Dweller after that. <laughs> ah, this is so wild. What am I missing here? The fact I'm still missing a word as well is really interesting. I wonder if, like, the one word I'm missing will end up being really, really helpful somehow. The fact that he's demanding fruit juice, that doesn't necessarily mean that the gift is fruit juice. But here we got the, the juice has been delivered, the honey has been delivered. And both of those were spiked. So the other gifts are tasty fish and lots of eggs. Well, he's not really giving tasty fish. 
he's giving fish that taste like crab. <laughs> but I guess it could be argued. It's like a matter of taste, I guess. There's like candles here too. Wait, are these like the spices? <gasps> these are the spices. Oh, this is where everything's getting, getting drugged up. This is where the drugging is happening in the honey. Huh. But I thought the honey had already been delivered. Yeah, the honey's already been delivered here. The juice and honey has been delivered, but the other stuff hasn't. Oh, this asshole. Here. He has some sweet honey to enjoy with the sweet juice, and tonight I will meet with you at last, my golden-haired beauty. Oh yeah? Because we know that's her. Uh, I will do this once tonight and never again. <gasps> Wait! Did Kula become indebted... Wait, I think this might be the thing. I think it might be weeks before the thing. She became indebted to Kula? No, I don't think she did. But here, she's like, I'll do this once tonight and never again. It could be this? Hmm. No, it is not that, okay. Let's let's go back to the day of the murder. Like over here, we well the, the burial urns are. We know that the bones have been taken out of there now. But why? Unless. Unless he's not actually dead. And they've just, oh, oh, I think I've just realized something. I don't think that's him. I don't know if that's actually Tissa or not. Like Tissa might have like faked his own death possibly. No, no, he was definitely sedated. No, never mind, never mind. But it still might not be his bones. Like, we know that the bones of an ancestor were brought here in a sack, and the sack is empty. I think this is the bones of an ancestor. And uh, Tissa is somewhere else entirely. I don't think that's Tissa. I think it's made for people to think that it is Tissa. I don't think it's actually Tissa. I don't know where Tissa is, though, or what that would mean for Tissa, but... Because if we look here, the idol is blue. And if we look the night before the murder, the, the idol is still blue again. So the idol was actually used... Here, here's the red. The idol was used at some point... between these two moments, like, maybe like a week or so? Ah, this is so interesting. I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm getting so many answers and it's just making more questions. <laughs> oh, it's great. Oh, this is so great. I, I wish I knew which single word I was missing though. Yeah, like violence is never the answer, but they're all like, let's strike this, strike the dweller. What if we preserve? Preserve. Blah, 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 blah. You're providing him with the... the right... the right... incantations to deal with it. Uh, 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 uh. Well, they managed to convince the council, at least. I don't know who did the, the winning vote, but... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ah... <sighs> I really wonder what word I'm missing here. Why does everyone look absolutely zoinked out of their minds? The, um, th there's a lot going on here. They're, they're going through a lot. <laughs> Don't worry about them. They're fine. They're, they're fine. He's just an asshole. 
He's got that expression because he's a smarmy asshole. The rest of them are just kind of dealing with life. <laughs> What's the word I'm missing? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, banish. I thought banish would be a word I could pick up, but apparently not. There's nothing here. Oh, the mottos of the guardians, wait. The mottos of the guardians, and then if we go back out, look in here, it says always follow your motto. Hmm. Always follow your motto. Hmm. Hmm. This feels like it could mean something. I don't know quite what yet, but I feel like it, it means something. Yeah, it's like, at this point, she has her full cube. Wait, let me go back to here a second. Right, you've got half of a cube. She has a full cube and a half. So yes, uh, so Sahelia Eam became indebted to uh, Lavumata. That is correct, because we know that Sahelia Eam gave half of her cube to Lavu, because Lavu still got her full cube. But now we need to figure out the the weeks ahead one. This one, who who's indebted here? Yeah. Oh, it's the other way around the other way around she gave half of her cube to him oh okay other way around there we go okay so she's indebted to tissa because i guess because tissa has been doing all the voting this time and then tissa's like okay you're indebted to me now because i've been doing this favor for you uh get me the blonde chick <laughs> But then hours before the murder, Sahelia Eam became indebted to Labu, who agreed to help her. Always preserve the ancient practice is her motto. Hmm. It's interesting. Okay. Okay, I'm glad I figured that out though. That feels like that that feels like I should have figured that out sooner but uh, <laughs> uh I'm gonna have some more monster actually monster energy brain brain cell replenish <laughs> ha nice right, it's like is there anything else I'm missing here what was that Oh, that, that as well. That's just like, that shows that she's indebted. Like, I have your promise, cube half. <laughs> you owe me. Hmm. What am I missing? What am I missing? I feel like I need to figure out the gifts thing. Like, we've got the list of the gifts here. It's like, I think it's safe to say his gift is the fish, because he's, he's planning on giving him the really crap-tasting fish. Because just this and then one more basket of gifts to deliver and I'm done. So yeah, the juice and honey are first, and then he's saying he's delivering the fish and the eggs, and then he's done. It's like, uh, it's like we got the gift of the honey. The honey was delivered. The juice was delivered. The crap tasting fish were delivered. And then this is where the eggs should have been, but I'm not seeing like any trace of egg. 
Oh, I don't have the word rat though, do I? I want... Oh, flesh? Would it be planned to deliver flesh? It's like the flesh of a rat? Would it be that? No, okay, never mind. <laughs> It wouldn't be bones, would it? Hold on, I need to try. No, okay, it's not bones. Uh, what is... Uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on a second, I've just had a wild thought. What if... What if the gift she was gonna give isn't actually eggs? It's like, because, like, they're talking together here. She's just like, I'm, I'm glad you've agreed to cooperate. Yeah, the, the family name won't be tarnished. Is she gonna be the gift? <laughs> it's kind of messed up if it's true, but... Oh my god, it is. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Me having the sudden thought of... Wait. <laughs> oh no. Uh, wow. <laughs> Oops, turns out the game is messed up. Yeah, we learned that in the, the very, very first uh, level of the game. <laughs> I thought it was going to be bones too, because I was hearing all this stuff about like stealing the bones and then like they saw people running away with a sack from like the area where the bones of the ancient sentinels are. So then I was like, well, is it the bones that, are, that were in that sack then? Was it literally, did they literally just kidnap her and shove her in a sack? <laughs> At that point, maybe. Oh, oh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing how this could have gone now. I'm wondering. If Sahelia was given as a gift, but she made a deal with Lavu and became indebted to make Lavu add the sedatives to the honey. So she knew when she was delivered as a gift or like kidnapped, uh, he would be sedated. So then she could uh, kill him, oh, maybe, mayhap. Maybe. I'm, I feel like there's still so much. There's still so much. But yeah, I'm pretty sure she made a deal with Lavu to make sure that the honey was uh, filled with sedatives. That's like the deal that happened there. And then Kula's indebtedness was to give Sahelia to Tissa as a gift. I'm wondering where the bones fit in here. <laughs> Trying to figure out where the bones fit in. And who... Oh. I'm just... Dare not try Sentinel. I will peel your flesh until only bones are left. That, that sure is what happened. And it's like looking in looking in here, always follow your motto. I feel like the mottos are important. Protect the weak. We listen, we plan, we organize. The diligent shall have full bellies. Always preserve the ancient practice. The only thing I can think of here is like always preserve the ancient practice. Like, would Lavu be involved here because Tissa is threatening the ancient practice by wanting to kill the tower dweller? be enough reason to my heart says we should preserve our ancient practice that's her motto yeah did she is she the one like leaving these messages to try and like scare them off she oh, oh. I feel like I'm still missing stuff here I'm found someone who's agreed to help me out and solve this problem once and for all. So yeah, I think that is Lavu, because Lavu would agree to add sedatives to the, the honey. And do not do it, beautiful Sahelia. Follow your heart. No one can make you do something that goes against your nature. 
Hmm. <gasps> Thank you for the hydrate, Akira. I will have a sip of my monster. Yeah, I need way more brain juice for this one. This is wild. And thank you for the head fat too. Hold on, let's go back to the day of the murder. I cannot think. Here. Oh. I am well, brother. I hope Tissa learned his lesson and both will leave me alone now. What? Like... Uh, did you have a good sleep? I left before you woke up to get the best fishing spot. Wait, so she... <sighs> if she slept in her own bed, that means she wasn't delivered as a gift, though. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> so confused. What am I missing? Uh, you were doing your morning meditation when you heard the noise. Only thing I can think of here now is like, did, do they like swap sp swap spots? Like, is that what the indebtedness is? Like, Sahelia was like, hey, if if you become the gift instead of me, <laughs> then I'll owe you one. And Lavu would be able to use that as an opportunity to kill Tissa to like preserve the ancient order. Would that really? Oh, here it is. Oh, wait, no, that's... Preserve the ancient practice. I think... I think I'm right here. I think this is, uh... Lavu wanted to preserve the ancient practice. And so access the Sentinel's Lodge. Not using a door. <laughs> uh... Using a gift? Afterwards, the murderer left through a window. Would it be this? I'm trying to remember the wording. Uh, preserve the ancient practice. Yeah. I, th I think Lavu wanted to preserve the ancient practice. Be afterwards the murderer hid in a basket in the gift basket where the the eggs were meant to be it's st oh it's still not filled in correctly <laughs> oh it's like the only thing i can think of now just like she would be there as the gift and then ends up hiding in the basket like here until this moment and then she pops out after everyone else is like already in this room. Just goes like, oh yeah, I was meditating. Hi, what have I missed? But it's not right. <laughs> but it's not right. Uh, oh, unless it's, oh, accessed it using a basket. <gasps> I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. Oh, I think I am right. I think I am on the right track. Lava Mata wanted to preserve the ancient practice, access the Sentinel's Lodge using a basket, and kill Tissa, who had been sedated with honey. Uh, hid in a basket. Uh, the villagers found the skeleton. I think they found the skeleton of the dead ancient Sentinel and not Tissa. Because obviously she's she probably would find it easy enough to kill Tissa. She can't really strip the flesh from his bones. She would not have the capacity to do that. So they would use the bones of the ancient sentinel to frame it and pretend that it's Tissa's bones. I think I've got this, please. Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. 
Oh, yes. Oh, have I considered just time traveling to the time of murder instead of after it? I, I sure wish I could do that. That would make things so much easier. <laughs> nice, thank you. I did it. I did it. Oh, you were stuck thinking she used the fish to eat his flesh. Oh, see, I... Oh, it does make sense. Like, just throw, him, throw his body in the lake and the fish will eat it. But, yeah, we, we know that the, the fish were... The flesh-eating fish were still all in the lake because What's-His-Face um, fished up all of the, the crab-tasting ones. So all of the, the flesh-eating ones were still in there. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the hydrate too. I'll have a sip. Mm. <laughs> a victory, Sippy. The scroll has been fulfilled, no hints accessed. Lavo Mata promised Sahelia that she would hide in the basket to speak to the prince at night and convince him to leave Sahelia alone. Instead, Lavo killed the sedated prince and threw his body in the lake for fish to eat. Then she placed the stolen skeleton in, in his bed and hid in the basket again. Once the body was found and more incredulous villagers arrived on the scene, she climbed out and joined everyone. Yeah, I still need to stay and explore because I do need to still find that last word. But... I, I fulfilled the scroll at least, which feels good. It's also a little painful because now I know that the word I need is not actually related <laughs> to the answer. <laughs> so it's gonna be even harder to find, but it's okay. But yeah, I really, I should have figured out ahead of time. I feel like I should have like taken the hint for here. The fact that it wasn't just a yellow background for here and it was yellow slash red should have hinted me into the fact that it was a person who was being delivered as one of these. That one took me a little while. But oh, that was so cool. Let it be known you always knew I was a genius. Thank you. Thank you. I try my best. But yeah, he definitely got what he deserved though. He was he was terrible. Like, I would never wish death on anyone, but uh, in a video game sense, uh, <laughs> screw that guy. He's awful. Right, let's try and find this last word. I am going to cheat mode it and turn on highlights to see what I have not clicked on. Right, let's look for the yellows. Nope, this is all good. Over here. This is all good. Over here. Yep, you're good. Let's go to here. Nothing to click here. Oh, here. You? <gasps> deliver! I missed the word deliver. That's the only thing I missed. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That would have taken me so long to find as well. I missed the word deliver. Oh. Uh, wanted to deliver the, the honey fish. <laughs> Oh, I did it! Yay! Uh, can you point me to some things I missed? Uh, I'll say wait until the last chapter. I'll wait until I'm I'm done and then I'll go back and check up things I missed. I, I feel like that's a good way to do it. Also, Sizame, hello! Thank you for the raid, welcome in! I hope you had a, a lovely Yuri Sunday. <laughs> Thank you for bringing the raid this way, welcome, welcome. I feel like I don't even in have to introduce myself because I, <laughs> you know me, you know me by now, but I'll do it anyway. Hi to anyone who's new here. Hello, I'm Liri. I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games and it is puzzle time right now. It's not comfy. We just had someone who was murdered and had their flesh eaten by fish, but it's puzzles. We got puzzles today. <laughs> But thank you for bringing the raid this way. I hope you had a good sapphic Sunday. Because <laughs> you were playing an Ebihime game. Yeah, the sad story of Emmeline Burns. Was it good? I hope it was good. It was a comfy murder. It's See, the, the scenario here is... The scenario is not comfy. But we're still having a comfy time here. Like, we we're not being murdered. <laughs> We're just observing from a from a safe distance. So we 
don't have to... We don't have to worry about uh, the, the bad stuff. It's not happening to us, it's happening to other people. <laughs> no, that's a terrible way of seeing it, no. But no, I, I still want, I still try and have a comfy time, even when I'm playing darker games. Like, it's, even though the game is dark, we're, we're still relaxing here. Like, horrible things may happen on screen, but I'm just going, oh dear. Well, that's, that's not very good, is it? Oh, Dima, thank you for the gift sub too. Yay, you get subbed now. You get to use the emotes. Woo. Thank you so much for the gift sub. Thank you very much. But, oh, I'm glad you had a good time though. I'm glad you had a good stream. Uh, if you have to head off, if you have to go get some rest or food and drink, then please don't feel like you have to stay. But if you do want to stay, uh, I'm about to see what this pot plant has to say for the story. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for bringing the raid this way. I'm glad you had a good stream. Oh, Your actions endangered our commune, Zuberi. It's so loud, these scenes. I'm sorry, but we have to isolate you. They're just, like, dropping him in a hole? They're just keeping him in a hole? What? Wow. Okay. Okay, just imprison him in a hole, I guess. Alright, time for the third case. The less than amicable departure of two explorers. Here we go. <laughs> that seems pretty harsh. Did he even do anything? He convinced the council to um, that it would be a good idea if him and Tissa took out the tower dweller. And that went really badly. So yeah, he, he did do something. <laughs> I don't think it's... I don't, I don't think it's worth like that kind of punishment, but um, but yeah, he's he's not blameless. But it's not, but like this didn't happen because of the tower dweller. Like he was he was framed, he was very much framed in this situation. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor poor Zaviri. He just has a terrible time all the time. Like he's imprisoned, he's framed, he's framed again, he's. He's blackmailed, he's imprisoned, he's, he's just having a terrible, terrible time. Right, let's see what we're working with here. We have a damaged stone pillar to start with. Just that? Just, just the pillar? Okay. Just the pillar, let's get out of here. Ooh. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate and the posture check as well, Dima. I will have a big, big chibi stretch and sit up straight, and I will have a sip of my monster. Oh, I've nearly finished my monster. I wonder if I could just finish it now. No, I think I still have a couple sips in there. I, do I don't want to just chug the can. <laughs> a couple more monster sips, and then I will move on to um, not monster. Right, so this is... Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey, hello! A destroyed stone bridge. Did that do it by any chance? Oh, goodness me. Subiri, he would have killed me if it were not for you. I will be forever in your debt. I may have paid dearly for that decision. What I have given him is the most dangerous device I know of. <gasps> oh. He just gave the golden idol over to the explorers to save her life. Oh. How dare you lay your hands on one of us. If I find you, I will kill you and take back what you stole. Okay, we've got loads of words from him. <laughs> Sorry. I think that's all the words. Oh, wow. Get back. They may still attack us. Just let them leave. The most important thing is that nobody was hurt. We will deal with Lavu later. No, stop him. You have no idea what you have done. I would have dealt with them. We could have continued to preserve our way of life with me as your protector. She's sounding really, uh... 
a, a little unhinged. I she is so obsessed with this way of life, this this like the preserving the order, being the protector. It's getting to like cult brainwashing levels. Like she's brainwashing herself here. Like there's nobody brainwashing her, but it's like that kind of mindset. This is wild. Gela, you have no honor. We saved your life and this is how you repay us? May those stolen riches be the ruin of you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it has, it has a whole lot more going on than expected in here. <laughs> Are any of them hinged to begin with? I... That's... A, probably not. No, I don't know though. Everything seemed like it was going fine until... Zuberi and Tissa started shaking things up. That's that's when things started really getting out of hand. I feel like Tissa was the catalyst for a lot of this, just because he was an asshole. But over here we have the explorers. Ha! Huh. It works! It's amazing! Do not dare follow us unless you want to witness more of my deadly powers. Albert, we're leaving. <laughs> here, this is where they're talking in uh, Lemurian, and then this is when they're talking in I think, is it Albion? Which is like the, the common language for the rest of them, I think. I think it was Albion. Either way, different language. And what do you know? What do you know? You've got the idol and a bag filled with golden coins and gems and the surgical kit and the loaded pistol. Ha! Ah. ah, Oberon. Oberon, Geller, you, you are also an asshole. <laughs> January 5th, 1742. Both parties agree to these... Yeah, this is Albert Cloudsley and Oberon Geller. We know these two. These awful, awful men. But it's okay. He, he, he gets killed in the first chapter. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> A whole lot more going on. I'm glad, I'm glad you noticed my, my terrible pun. Thank you very much. I think he knows Puck. Uh, he doesn't seem like a Shakespeare type to me. And here we've got Albert Cloudsley, who's just kind of a bit of an idiot, honestly. Oberon, what in the blazes is going on here? You have more powers than mind reading? There we go. Here are the, the rights here. Albert Cloudsley has two thirds of the valuables. Oberon has one third of the valuables and the golden idol. He's got his tobacco, he's got his pipe, yep, the... He sure just blasted that bridge with the idol. <laughs> Good times, uh, let's... Okay, yeah, this is like... The lower half. And then it goes up to like, the upper half here. Is, is this? That's nothing I can look at. I'm surprised I can't examine that. Right, anyway, uh, Good times. Good times in the cave. Uh, let's see what's going on. Oh, it's Zuberi's hole. Where he was being imprisoned. What a lovely little jail. Seems to be nothing I can do with that. And then let's have a look at the Oh. Oh. Nagana Bryn Gad Bulbazur. Tegana Bryn Gad Bulbazur. Going over and over again. Beprom, Beprom, Beprom. Tegana Tresno. What? Why is this red as well? What does this mean? What does this mean? And this, this is clearly like a, a machine of some sort, like pre programmed. Is this like pre programmed to use the idol? What is this? <laughs> Bye prom. Bye prom. Bye prom. It's it's where everyone dances with everybody. Ah, huh, right. Okay, let's let's go back a bit and see what happened before all of this. Okay, let's have a look at Zubiri in his little hole. Oh. Just say these words in the correct order loud and clear. They are special commands in Old Lemurian that will grant you control of that entity 
so you can direct it to destroy itself. No longer will your village be hostage to this dark creature. Alright, here we go. Day 37 on the island. Who could have killed Tissa? It cannot have been the automaton. It does not move. I hope someone lets me out of here soon. It is very dull in this cell, but at least Jayen visits me regularly. It is day 38 on the island. Jayen has told me that Oberon Gela has arrived on the island. How did he find out that this place is linked to the myth of the Fountain of Youth? That man has no morals. I fear what would happen were he to get his hands on the Golden Idol. Yeah, he's got a whole little past with Oberon. Oberon sure treated him very terribly. Hmm, he's also got half of somebody's promise cube. Half of Lavu's promise cube. Thank you, Zuviri. I have made note of these incantations. This old language is strange to me, but hopefully the council will agree to let you out of prison. All right, uh, code to initialize override by prom. It should tilt its head. Commands to destroy it. Terry Tresno, Terry Nip. Hold on. Tegana Tresno. They did the wrong thing. They said the wrong command. That's that's the wrong command. Rutro. Rutro. It's meant to be Terry Tresno. Whatever command it was given, it was not the command to destroy it. So what command was it given? <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I right, still got the the necklace as well. Right, okay, here's the automaton with the idol. With the blue gem. Uh, looks pretty destroyed to you, yes, but uh, it was given another command here, and then it's like, it's been torn off. So before it was given the destroy itself command, it was given another one. So we need to figure out what these mean. Because I'm guessing it's like Nagana... And then all of this is going to be like, take life away, give life. Take life away, give life. I think these are going to be the commands here. And then this is like the override code. And then this is like, it's either give or take away, but something else. Hmm. This is so interesting. Ah. Uh. It's the, the the gem is blue here. Right, let's oh what is happening in There's a lot happening down here, huh? Hi Hi Oberon, fancy seeing you here again. <laughs> uh, see, this is your picture. Mind reading is just one of the many magical powers that I possess. Your so called tower dweller will have no chance against me and my compatriot. What have you got? You got a crayon? You got a deck of blank cards. You got a card with a picture of a flower. Contract, as always. And here, this is a miracle. How could you know? Yes, it's a card with a picture of a flower. How could you know? It's definitely not trickery, surely. Ah, uh, he's reading minds again. He did that to me on the ship and it gave me the creeps. No man should have the power to peer into another man's head. What have you got there? You've got a clay ball. A container with black powder. Are you making a bomb? I think he's making a bomb. <laughs> a small ruby. Pouch with tobacco. Coil of rope. Pipe. Dagger. He's making a bomb. Yeah, just casually making a bomb with the kids. Just nice things to do with your children, huh? <laughs> just be like, hey kids, and here is how you can make a homemade explosive. Be careful. Don't want to blow up your, your toys. <laughs> Not at all. It's just, it's just fireworks. Yeah, it's it's completely innocent. Definitely. Hey, stranger. Where is that powder? Can I have some of it? Hey, will you be joining the villagers like the previous newcomers? I cannot understand what you are saying. Your voice and your words are strange. Speak like a normal person. Yeah, I love how he's just here, like, speaking in his own language. Like, none of them can understand him. 
Like, even Oberon is speaking their language, too. He's he's just here nattering away. Nobody has a clue what he's saying. <laughs> he's just talking to himself. All right, what have you got here? <gasps> the good and bad questions. Good, can I help you? Bad, how does this work? It can be dangerous to be too curious. Bad, how old are you? Each villager is born under a different star, which grants a lifespan that can, la a lifespan that can be shorter or longer. It is rude to ask an adult how old they are. Okay, well, I'm glad he... I'm glad he knows the good and bad questions. <laughs> right, they're all looking on in amazement as she's having her mind read. What do you think of these foreign visitors, Kula? Can we trust them? At this point, I think it's worth trying. This man appears to possess strange powers. He does, doesn't he? You are a powerful magician. Perhaps you can indeed stand against Tower Dweller. We desperately need help. It stripped the flesh from our last sentinel. No, it didn't. It didn't. We will show you the way. Uh, a rock for a hem is a rock well spent. What, what, are, you, what are you singing? What, what a strange song. Stop meddling. Only a new sentinel can keep me at bay. Well, they're, they're making another message, trying to preserve the old order, I guess. Oh! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm so ready for this. Here we go. Old Lemurian. This is Bi Bib Bol Boli Ket Ibazur. Utu suk suki biket biketi bazu. For bigger numbers, just multiply bazu. For example, bib bazu is 24. Okay. So it works in 12s. It's like dozens, I guess. Interesting. This is very interesting. Okay, so it's two... The override was... Two... Stop, two stop, two stop. Here we go, essential verbs. We've got nagana means take, tegana means give. That's, that's what I thought it would be. That's what I thought it would be. That's what I thought it would be. Okay, but tresno means tool. Nip means self. Hora means heat. We figured that out from the... From, from the Golden Idol. Gad means lifespan. Brin means matter. Apple means mind. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, we know the idol is take and give, and then we can use all of these in conjunction with it. Right, over here. I have discovered an intact universal transfer device in the destroyed city of Xenopolis after the cleansing. However, the device is out of reach. I can operate it remotely. The ancient automaton has retained acute hearing. Our ancestors have been very cunning and implemented a number of restrictions. The automaton aims the device only at the one who, issue, who issues the vocal instructions. It does not respond to commands given by a target below the age of 15. That's interesting. Okay. Hmm. What an interesting restriction. Okay, well, we have learned a lot from this. So we know Nagana is take, Tegana is give. Hold on, I'm just gonna take a quick screenshot of this. Because I feel like I'm gonna need to reference this and it will be really annoying for me to just keep coming back and forth from here so I'm just making a screenshot <laughs> there we go screenshot made perfect and then yeah this has just got all the numbers on it it's just like a number keypad okay that's interesting that this is here though all right so yeah that is currently on give matter lifespan 
give matter lifespan. And then when it turns to red, it will become take matter lifespan. All right, let's have a look here. This is uh, the, the initializing override is just, oh, it's just one stop, one stop, one stop. And then the command to destroy it here is destroy tool, destroy self. Ah, that makes sense. But what was it actually given? Yeah, all of these commands are give matter lifespan and ball buzzer is 312. 36? So it's like give give 36 lifespan, take away 36 lifespan, give 36 lifespan. Oh, take take 36 lifespan, give 36 lifespan. But then at the bottom here, we've got uh, Tagana Tresno. That is give, give tool. Give tool? Oh, that's the idol itself. So instead of like destroy the idol, destroy yourself, it is give the idol. He literally did the command to make it give give the tool which is doing this which is the idol the idol is the tool here he just did he just straight up did the command he just went give give me the idol and it did it and now it is broken because then he can just do whatever he likes with it. wow oh they probably just actually they probably didn't even use the idol to do this they probably just stuck a bomb in there <laughs> the bomb that what's his face was making earlier Oh, this is so cool. Right, well, I've got all the words, so let's uh, piece it all together. I think I have pieced this together pretty well. Oh, wow, I'm so glad I made my my little... My little cheat sheet. Uh, Nagana Bringad means take... Matter... Where's matter? Oh, known information. No? Wait, it's saying I've got all the, the words. Where's matter? Oh, it's it's a yellow one. I'm, I just, I'm silly. <laughs> what did we learn? Always change the factory password. <laughs> what did we learn? Um, If you know the ancient language, then you can just do whatever you like. Uh, only here to backseat. Hi. Uh, if you try and backseat, you'll get banned. But welcome. <laughs> Welcome in. I hope you don't backseat, but uh, th that's that's one heck of a username. <laughs> I bet you just pick all of the the streams with like no backseating tags and just go into them, just to follow people and see what they say. Well, uh, uh, welcome. Unless you backseat, in which case the mod team will bonk you and you're gone. <laughs> but hi. All right. So this is take matter lifespan. And then the next one is give matter lifespan. <laughs> no sitting in the back seat. No, you're allowed to sit in the back. You just can't say anything if you do. <laughs> and then Tagana Tresno, that just that just means give tool. So um, hmm. give tool. Uh, while in tower, the. Golden Idol could Is it the Golden Idol? Maybe. I'm like the good the Golden Idol could target only the Is that voice? Oh command. Oh could target only the voice of the Uh, I feel like it'd be like something speaker, maybe. Could follow only the voice of the village, the villagers speaker, maybe. No, not quite. That is wrong. Wait, so if you move up to the front, you can spoil everything. No, you will just get kicked out of the car. And I will leave you in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> 
I, I love how I'm making all of these like backseating analogies with me driving the car as though I know how to drive anything. I <laughs> Anyone who wants to sit in the back seat while I'm driving, um, good luck. Uh, the hope you survive, it probably won't go well. <laughs> right, uh, while in town, it's, it's gonna be something here. I don't know how to word it properly. But I think here it's it's going to be something about like it can only hear like the the person who's there, and then I know this is right. I know this much is right. It's just this side that's incorrect. Hmm. Let's, let's start with one of these. Let's start with... Oh, here, in the tunnel. Uh, I think this is gonna be... Oberon, use the golden idol... On the stone bridge... To try and... Kill somebody oh no hold on oh no here it's gonna be Oberon took which one was it he took somebody as a hostage I think I think she... I think he would have taken her as a hostage I think he took oh what's her name I think he took Kula as a hostage I, I clicked off the thing I wanted to do that I think Oberon took Kula as a hostage, so then I, I did it again. I keep toggling the wrong thing. So then I think Zubiri surrendered the golden idol. And did it just be Oberon again? Like Oberon, Oberon Gela obtained the golden idol and left. I think it might just be that, honestly. That makes sense as a paragraph. Suddenly Oberon took Kula as a hostage, Zubiri surrendered the golden idol, and Oberon obtained it and left. Maybe. Right, I think here it's... Do we have... No, we don't have, like, bomb as an... <laughs> I was wondering if he used the bomb around here. Hmm. This is so interesting. Hmm. Uh. This is so interesting. Oh, you've just realized the magnifying glass is positioned perfectly for Sandra to look at us. Yeah, she's helping me. She's helping me look for clues. She's very good at it too. She helps out a lot. Hey, Sandra, do you want do you want to help me some more? Well, that's just rude. That's just rude. Come back. I'm I'm sorry. I won't I won't make you talk to them. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I love that you could just see the the little eyes peering through. I can't actually reach my own eye. Well, in a little bit. I've got to look down at everything. I've got to look in this direction to make sure I actually see it through the magnifying glass. Right, let's let's start with a long time ago. Let's do this. Uh somebody Oh my goodness, there's so many gaps. It's like somebody something to the something. It could be used only with a something, and it could something only the something of the something. Therefore, somebody created the something of somebody. So for centuries Oh! The this is gonna be like the Somebody created the myth of the tower dweller. Oh, oh! I figured that one out just by reading something. That I did not expect. Therefore, yeah, somebody created the myth of the tower dweller. So for centuries, the villagers would give the give. They they'd all give the give matter lifespan. Command. 
command command and somebody would take their lifespan for themselves who did this who did this a long time ago how mysterious who would have done this who created the myth of the tower dweller? How mysterious indeed. Hmm. Yeah, so for centuries the villagers would give the give matter lifespan command and tower dweller would take their lifespan for themselves. And it's like, who did this? Who, who created this myth? I've missed this much. It's not Zuberi, is it? It might be Zuberi. I'm thinking it might be like the Zu the, the Kara family, maybe. I don't know. It feels I don't feel like I would blame Zuberi for all of this. I feel like it's more like his family than anything, if it would be. I might be completely wrong either way. Uh, I'm gonna start with found the golden idol because I feel like that's a a good spot to start at possibly oh wait found the something it could be used only with a golden idol maybe hold on no found the golden idol it could be used only with a voice command And it could target. Oh, um, um. There's so much that it could be. This is like the vaguest one yet. This is so vague. Wow, this might take me a while. <laughs> I hope people like looking at words. We're going to be looking at words for a while. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a lot of me just, like, completely brainstorming uh, really stupid ideas that don't make sense <laughs> to try and work through it. Oh, this is so interesting. I this Part of this feels right here. Like, the villagers giving the give matter lifespan command and then the, the myth of the tower dweller. I'm confident in, like, this half a sentence. <laughs> Not words! Oh no, so terrible. No, I like words. I think words are a lot of fun. I've got lots of them. I've got a, a prison. We, we got Albert. Let's put Albert here. No, uh, maybe not. What's this gonna be? Oh, here. After the arrival of the ship, the foreign visitors went to the tower and uh, found Tower Dweller and were rewarded with Tool. <laughs> uh, were rewarded with Riches? Would it be Riches? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, one of the words of all time. Thank you. I, I do love all of the words. Thank you for the dictionary narration, Redeem, too. Yeah, I've got so many words right here, like, in my hand. Like, listen to these pages. Let me just, like, rustle the pages a bit. <laughs> Impromptu ASMR. It's just me, like... Flipping pages back and forth in the most raggedy dictionary you can imagine. <laughs> the, the, there's like the little protective plastic that goes on the outside of the, like the book itself. It's peeling off. It's taking like every ounce of my willpower to not just keep peeling it and peel it all the way off. But I'm, I know if I do that, I'm gonna make it so much worse. So I'm, I'm just like not touching it. But thank you for the dictionary narration, Redeem. Let me see what word we got for W. <laughs> Okay, this is a good one. Thank you for the dictionary narration, Redeem. We have the letter W. The word we have is wishy-washy. It's an adjective. 
and wishy-washy means not firm or forceful, feeble. For example, the example it gives here is wishy-washy liberalism. Wow! Dictionary, wow, okay. Uh, anyway, the, the word before it is wishing well, which is a noun, which is a well into which you drop a coin and make a wish. <laughs> what? I know, that's, that's exactly what I was thinking, reading it. Like, that's the... That's the example you're going to give? Wow, okay. Anyway, and the word after it is wisp, which is a noun for a small, thin bunch, strand, or amount of something. Like a wisp of hair. The adjective is wispy. Wow, I love that wish fulfillment in here, as two words, is in the dictionary as an entry. A wish fulfillment, a noun, the satisfying of wishes in dreams or fantasies. <laughs> wow, what a... What a what a page to read. Thank you for the dictionary narration, Mitty. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting that at all. That is wild. Right, what the heck are we doing here then? Oh, here we know. Uh, oh, prior to that, someone had used the give tool command. We can do this much because we know this happened. Had used the give tool command and had obtained. Obtained is the only word that makes grammatical sense. Oh, maybe found. And had obtained the golden idol. I'm gonna do obtained for now. It could be found. I think it's obtained. But who did that? Did Zubiri do that? No, uh, what's her face did? Uh, Lavu! Lavu used the give tool command. Uh, and then Lavu released Zubiri from the prison. And they followed the celebrating villagers. Yeah, I know, I know this isn't correct. I know, that's fine. It's here. Who did that? Who used the give tool? No, I think that's gonna be... Who who did do that? Uh... Right, I think this is probably right. I think Lavu probably released Zubiri from the prison. And we know that the give tool command to obtain the golden idol, I, I'm pretty sure that's correct too. I'm pretty confident in that. Ah... Uh... This is wild. This is just like... This is just like, figure it out on your own in the most... <laughs> in like the biggest way. Oh, wow. But Zubiri clearly knew about the automaton. He, he mentioned the automaton. We don't have automaton as a thing here either. Hold on, I want to go back. I want to look at Lavu here. Uh, you, uh, I would have dealt with them. We preserve our way of life. Uh, we save your life and this is how you pay us. Yeah, they're, they're stealing all the gems here. You'll deal with Lavu later. Like, what? She? I think she did something here. Like, she's clearly, like, tied up here. They're holding on to her. How much did she do? Like, what has she done? Like, we know she wanted to preserve the ancient way, so she wouldn't destroy. Like, yeah, Zubiri gave her the command to make it destroy itself. But she would not want to do that. Oh, and then if she... Hold on, no, wrong way. If she is the one responsible for this, if she was the one putting all the projections up, she knows a lot about the language here. She would be able to figure out what it means from like the bits that she's learning. I think she'd be able to learn the command. So I think, I think Lavu's the one who obtained the golden idol. 
because she wouldn't want to destroy it. She wants to keep this way going. She wants to preserve the way of life. She wouldn't destroy it to endanger that. Did she then... Did she still release Zubiri, though? Right, uh, they, they went to the tower and... Maybe... Were rewarded with, um... Ooh. Hmm. I'd say like rewarded with riches, maybe. Uh, oh, they destroyed. Ah, that's what they did. They went to Tower Dweller and destroyed it with the bomb and got their reward of riches. But by the time they, they did this, but Lavu had already taken the golden idol so they just destroyed the automaton that was not doing anything anymore hmm maybe she didn't release Suberi. oh i bet uh i bet jay jayan jayan was visiting Zuberi a lot i bet he would have released him from prison yeah that makes sense okay oh we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there of course, that would explain all of the gems they had as well. And then it's like, we already gave you the riches well, after all we did for you. And then the whole, like, we'll deal with Labu after. So, yeah, I think... Yeah, I think Labu stole the golden idol because she knew that, like, these, these visitors were going to threaten the way of life. And she needed to make sure she still had the tool to keep it going because she's so obsessed with the preserving the way of life. <laughs> oh. Wait, maybe Lavu's the one who made the myth in the first place? Like, we don't know how old she is. Like, maybe she. Maybe she's the one. Oh, crap, is she the one behind this? I think she's the one behind it, actually. That would explain why she's so obsessed with the myth. Like, if she is using it to, like, take people's lifespan so she can live forever. Like, if people stop doing that, she won't live forever then. She would have one a hell of a reason to, to want to keep it going. I think it could be. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like there's still a lot I'm missing, but... I still don't know what I'm doing here as well. I Oh, could target only the command... ...of the speaker voice? No, that's, that's not right. Speaker voice isn't right. The something voice. Yeah, this is just not correct. I think it's going to be target only the voice, but then I'm, I'm not sure what this would be. Something speaker. It's not villager speaker. No, it just says incorrectly, so it's more than two incorrect, so I don't think it's that. Oh, but it's like... Hmm. This is so interesting. Right, could be used only with a voice command. That feels like it could be right. And it could target only the speaker of the command, of the something command. What else would that be though? I don't have, like, a language thing here. Mind command, no. Hmm. Speaker. No, this is just wrong. <laughs> Let's try this one. Let's see what- try and figure out what happened in the tunnel. Like, knowing here, figuring out 
that Lavu is like so involved in this. I'm pretty sure I'm right that Lavu is very involved in this. I think that's what I've been missing. Also, thank you for the hydrate. Okay, I have one more sip of monster left. I'm gonna save it for the next hydrate. Right, I think this is right as well here. I think Oberon taking Kula as a hostage and then Zubiri surrendered the idol to save Kula because Kula was like, you saved my life, Zubiri. Right, uh, I think... Lavu used the golden idol on the... The stone bridge? Oh, no, on the stone pillar, maybe. Hmm, no, I'm. Hmm. Oh, maybe. Oh. Could it be to try to steal the visitor's lifespan? Could that be what she did? She she tried to... Oh, if she tried to use the golden idol on the foreign visitors to try to steal the visitor's lifespan, maybe... Uh... Wait, who, who would have disarmed her, though? Hold on. Who's this? That's a... Uh, JR. Jaya, Jayan, I forgot his name. I'm so sorry, Jayan. You've been you've been quite cool in this. So then I think Jayan would disarm her, and Zubiri took the golden idol. No, it's not correct. Okay, I thought I was onto something. I thought I was onto something here. Ah. Uh, what else could it be? It's probably this bit that's wrong. It's probably all of this stuff. Hold on, let me go back. Yeah, this. Ba ba ba, his deadly powers. <laughs> yeah. What I've given him is. Yeah, Zubiri is definitely the one who gave Oberon the idol. So this part here. Zubiri surrendered the golden idol and Oberon obtained it. I think that is probably right. Over here, lay your hands on one of us. Uh, get back, they might attack us. You have no idea what you've done. No, blah, blah, blah. He saved your life and this is how you repay us. The stolen riches. So they stole the riches though, but I thought they were rewarded with riches for destroying the tower dweller. So how are they stolen at that point? Unless they literally just mean the idol here, like that is the rich that they've stolen. Hmm. This is wild. Ah. I'm missing. I, wait, I, th I think I'm just an idiot actually. Hold on. <laughs> uh, Lava Mata found the golden idol. It could be used only with a voice command and it could target only the speaker. It's probably just voice command again? Uh, <laughs> target only the. Oh my. <laughs> Why did I put mind commands? I was just reading back on it again and like, hold on, I think I'm just an idiot. There we and that's changed to two or fewer slots are incorrect now. So this here, this has got to be close now. So... Would it just be villagers? Like, the villagers would give the command and she would take their lifespan. Villagers? Soon. It's close. It's close. Therefore, Lava Mata created the myth of the Tower Dweller. So for centuries, the villagers would give the Give Mata Lifespan command. Oh no, they, d they do the take one. They would do the take matter lifespan one. And then Lava Mata would make the idol do the give matter one to take it for herself. Ah, the, the wording tripped me up there. Oh, it's just this one now. What the heck happened? 
What the heck happened in the tunnel? What's going on in here? Like the bridge got destroyed. The pillar got destroyed. Um. Well, there's like yellow flowers down here and Lavu has yellow flowers. Oh. Did Lavu use the idol on the, the stone pillar? Maybe, I don't know what she would do it for, but uh... Hmm. 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 Try to steal? See, I'm just here, like, I put that because there's, like, flowers there, but, I, like, why would she do that? <laughs> why would she do that? To, like, convince them that the myth is real? To try to, uh... I don't know why she would do that. Unless it's, like, to, to try to take the, the stolen riches back. Do we have stolen? I don't think stolen's a thing, actually. Never mind. <laughs> Take the visitor's riches. Uh, on the stone visitor's uh, stone pillar. No, this is wrong. Uh, but I'm still not sure about this here. Like, this part I'm very confident about. I don't know what happened beforehand here. Like, this whole situation in here. What the heck happened? Like, they clearly tried to attack them like something happened like they clearly threatened her and then he handed over the idol to save her he he's mad he's mad it's like that it's so sad too like thinking that they were all celebrating because they've all got like they're all wearing flowers and stuff oh yeah half of her flower thing is over on the other side too Oh. Oh, okay. This is wild. Wow. It's like, what, what is this, too? Is that just the arm? I think that might just be the arm. But yeah, I think what happened is, like, the bomb that he's making down here, they use that to destroy the automaton here because presumably they had like the inside information because Oberon got the information about the idol from Zuberi's father so he probably like learnt that it was an automaton there <laughs> and Zuberi clearly knows about it because he's literally talking about it here he's like talking about the how, how did he find out he did yeah, it's all about the automaton and the golden idol. So Zuberi clearly knows that it's an automaton in there. This is so wild. Uh... But yeah, it would it would make sense as well because he mentions here that Jayan keeps keeps visiting him even though he's imprisoned. And so if all the villagers went off celebrating together with their little their little flowers on, it would make sense that he'd use that opportunity to free him. Oh. What does she try and do here? I'm She she definitely tried to use the she used the golden idol here on the pillar. I just don't know why. I don't know why. They've got the celebration things as well. 
Oh, goodness. I... Wait, I need to put this back as well. Okay, uh, while in tower, I should do this bit too. Uh, while in tower, the golden idol could target only the this only could target only the speaker of the voice command. Yes, I got I got that from Miss Skull. <laughs> I forgot to finish filling this out. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. It's just this. What's going on here? I'm. Lavu used the golden idol to. Uh... Try to kill the foreign visitors? No. Hmm. go back here what do you say uh no stop him you have no idea what you've done i would have dealt with them we maybe no maybe that is right hold on maybe it's something else that's wrong she's talking about dealing with them maybe something else is wrong uh jayan disarmed lavu yeah i think that much is right because he's holding on to her here. I think he's the one who disarmed her. And then... Uh... Uh... Oh! Oh! I, I literally, like, that's just, like, such a redundant phrase. Maybe... Here, it's Oberon Geller destroyed the bridge. He destroyed the bridge. Where's, uh... Destroyed. Destroyed the stone bridge. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The scroll has been fulfilled. No hints accessed. When Lavu Mata discovered that Zubiri knew the override codes, she quickly went to the tower and, instead of giving the self-destruct command, instructed the ancient Lemurian automaton to give the golden idol to her. Yeah, as soon as she realized he knew how to like destroy it she was like well i can't risk that happening to the idol let me grab hold of that a bit of insurance oh my goodness wow wow that one that one took some working out <laughs> oh yeah uh time to point things out in a second i i need to say, see if there's like an epilogue first i feel like that yeah there's there's something here we're doing this first what do we have here Zubiri, we want you to replace Mata in the council and share your knowledge with the village. Oh. He's becoming too powerful. Perhaps I should stop him before it's too late. But wait, he can read my mind. He already knows I have these thoughts. I have no choice. I have to act now. And that's when he pushed him off. I, I see. Okay. Okay. And that's why he shoved him off a cliff. I see. Good job, Albert. Good, good job. Oh, that's so good. That was so good. Oh, I, I feel like these ones were... They didn't feel as intuitive as the other puzzles. I think I definitely preferred the Spider of Lanka to this DLC. But it's still been an incredible game. What a great game. <laughs> yeah, I love how the game just started with him thinking, oh no, he can read my mind. Guess I have to do it now. <laughs> it's so true. It's so good. I love that that's the first the first case. It's just him being like, oh, he, he knows I need to take him. He knows that I'm planning to take him out. I've got to take him out. <laughs> also, 12th Project, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Right, now is time for pointing things out that I missed. Anything I may have missed along the way. <laughs> His intrusive thoughts one. <laughs> right, I, it's very easy to miss things in this one, I think. This is very... 
very large. Oh, check Lava's necklace. Okay. Necklace made of a few colorful beads. <gasps> Two, three, one. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Oh, hold on a second. I want to try something. It's the password to get through the door here. They're, they're like, there's like scribbles on them. There's like, they're the worn buttons. It's, it's like a keypad to get in. Her necklace is the code to get into here. It was her. This is her. Oh, that makes so much sense. It makes so much sense. Oh, and Sahelia's brother. Bom 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 bom. Yeah, the the golden. Oh, dead snapper fish. Oh, it's. Oh my. God. Oh. Oh, that's so good. It's it's his ring. It's his ring. The snapper fish had his ring. That's the hint. That the body was thrown in there. That's so good. Yeah, I missed that one. Oh, that's so good. If the snapper fish hit a shiny in its mouth. Wow. Wow, might have gotten it from a body. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Also, Tay, hello. Yes, you joined. I've, I've solved the things. I'm sorry. <laughs> you joined right after I've solved everything, but I'm glad you get to see me. Feeling very smart and powerful. But uh, looking around while zoomed in time. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Look at the clouds. Oh, hold on. Huh. Oh, I wonder if... No, we can't see in the background from there. Huh. Oh, the ship is in the background too. The ship is right there. Ah. Oh. Oh, the ship's there. It's, it's foreshadowing what is to come. That's so clever. I'm pretty sure, like, I noticed the ship as well. And, but in my head, I, I fully just went, ah, a ship, and, and, and glossed over it. <laughs> I spotted it. I definitely, like, in my brain, I'm like, yeah, I saw that. I just didn't, like, associate it with anything. <laughs> I'm silly. Oh, that's so good. I love that. I love, like, looking back and noticing the little bits. Also, the DLC name takes on a new meaning now, huh? It really does. It does. It does. It's... The, the vampire is, like, stealing lifespan instead. I always love when... When media and things like that take, like, the classic concept of a vampire, but they twist it slightly. Like, instead of drinking blood, they, like absorb other things instead like i've seen stuff where it's been like the vampire myth but like draining lifespan instead of blood like a more literal sense of the draining and it's so interesting to think of this being like a like a prop fueled vampire like like you too can become a vampire just have this ancient idol and absorb whatever you like go back here. This, this is so interesting to look back on now as well. Knowing what's happened. This is... Ah, oh, this is... That's so good. That was so cool. This whole game has been incredible. I'm... I wish there was more of it. I wish there was more of it. I want to... <laughs> I want to play more. I don't want that to be it. I... I don't want to have to wait for the next game now. I want to, <laughs> I want to play it right now. Oh, I am so excited for for when the next one's going to come out though. And the what's what's it called again? 
Let me let me check my wish list real quick. What's it called? It is um the rise of the golden idol. The rise of the golden idol is it's got a planned release date of 2024. So that is incredibly exciting. But yeah, it's set 300 years after this game. It's considerably more in the future. It's like a present day thing. I'm so excited for this. Oh, it's going to be so interesting to see how this style of game works with like a more modern concept too. Like this is this is fascinating enough like being set in like the 1700s. But like Oh, I'm I'm so curious. I'm so excited for it. Also, Risa, Risa Ursa, welcome, welcome. I'm so sorry, you joined right as I've solved all the cases. <laughs> but yeah, the vampire runs on raw memes. Oh, imagine if you could just be fueled by memes. It'd be perfect. But that, that was such an incredible game. What a good game. I love that. I love this game so much. I... What do you mean, imagine? Oh, are you fueled by memes? Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't I shouldn't presume that nobody is. <laughs> but oh that was so good though. That was so good. That was so fun. Yeah, I th I think I definitely preferred the Spider of Lanka over the Lemurian Vampire. I think this DLC, I still had a lot of fun with it, but I feel like it was a little more like it required a little more guesswork comparatively compared to everything else and also the music in Spider of Lanka was incredible <laughs> but I, I still had a blast with it I love it so much and I love having like the the translation of the language too and all the little the little bits too like I learned what that means back over here I learned what the symbol means. I didn't know how to pronounce it, but I, I already knew what it meant. I love having that knowledge. I, I love that. That was so cool. Right, I think it's safe for me to put this away now. I think I have found what needs to be found. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's a tiny bit earlier than I usually end stream, but we've just about reached almost the four hour mark. So that timed itself really nicely too. Anyway, I think I am going to, boom, head over here. Oh, my chat's not working. Hello. Why is my chat not working? Hello. Where'd the chat box go? <laughs> that doesn't usually happen. Is the chat just not working? I guess it's just not working. Give me a second. Um... Why is my chat not loading? <laughs> Just on this screen. Oh. Why, why is... There it is. Okay, it's working now. <laughs> I just had to refresh it. <sighs> oh my goodness. There we go. Thank you. I love how the, the ha oh is the first thing that happened. Uh, I just had to oh. refresh it. It's back now. There we go. <laughs> it's working again. But uh, didn't I go super long on the first one two weeks ago? I did. I did go over a bit so to, because I wanted to finish it. Because I was so close to the end, I was like, well, I can, I can keep going now. So, yeah, the fact that I went a little bit less on this, I guess just like evens it out on the time. <laughs> but this was so much fun. This was so good. And yeah, thank you so much everyone for joining me too. And thank you for everyone who joined from the raids too. Everyone who decided to, to stick around as well. But yeah, this game has been so good. And oh, I'm excited for merch. Yes, merch soon. Merch soon. We're waiting on production stuff for a lot of things. But that's very exciting as well. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. It's It has been such a blast. I am so glad I chose this as my in-betweeny game before I go back to Outer Wilds because I know, this the, it was such a fun puzzle game but also I didn't get emotionally devastated by it like it wasn't that kind of game <laughs> I managed to avoid emotional devastation which means I'm prepared 
for when I jump back into Outer Wilds next week with the Echoes of the Eye DLC. And I'm presuming there is going to be emotional devastation because the base game definitely devastated me emotionally in many ways. <laughs> so I am, I am so excited to start that. I'm really, really excited to start that. But uh, I'm also glad I gave myself a few weeks, like, buffer room to let the base game sink in a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be my plan for next Sunday. I'm going to be starting... I'm going to be starting the, the Echoes of the Eye DLC, which I am... I'm a little bit nervous, not going to lie. Like, I'm, I'm a little scared, but in a good way. In the best kind of way. But yeah, Outer Wilds has just been such an incredible game and uh yeah there's still some base game things left over too yeah i know there's still loads of achievements i don't have oh that reminds me too i meant to reply to you as well Limsev. uh if you can give me a spoiler free list of like base game achievements i would very much appreciate that <laughs> i would appreciate that a lot because i don't want to start like digging into achievements and end up spoiling myself the dlc but I would like to do a bit of achievement hunting too, because I feel like there's probably some funny ones. Like, considering the fact I got an achievement for using my oxygen as propulsion in space, I think there's probably silly achievements I can do, and I want to do that. <laughs> Little things to, to break up the serious moments, just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna do this silly thing now. Ain't gonna be good. But yeah, that is, that's gonna be the plan for next week. And next week as well is also Lesbian Visibility Week. So I think it's time to, to get back to the Yuri visual novels. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since I finished. Uh, what's the last one I played? I think it was Please Be Happy. Yeah, I think we're sorely overdue. I think we're definitely overdue some Yuri visual novel time. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to be starting... I was gonna say I'm gonna be starting twofold. I'm technically going to be doing the prequel to twofold before I start twofold, but that's gonna be my next plan for for Yuri game. So I'm gonna be starting first snow on Tuesday. We're gonna make it twofold Tuesday, even when I'm not playing twofold yet. <laughs> but yeah, that's the plan for next week, and I will stream on Wednesday as well. I just have not decided what yet. Uh, maybe House Flipper? Maybe House Flipper. I haven't House Flipped in a while. Or maybe Infinite Craft. I'll see how I feel when I make the schedule tomorrow. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. It has been so much fun. I'm, I'm, I've had so much fun with this game. I'm so glad I decided to play it. And I guess it's time for me to start thinking about another puzzle game as well for after Outer Wilds DLC. Like, I don't know how long that will take me. It might, it might take me a while. I am prone to taking my time in games like that. But yeah, I, I do have a lot of games on my list though, so I don't think it's gonna be hard. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a good spot to leave it at for now. Time for me to hopefully get some sleep. We'll see how that goes. My sleep pattern has been an absolute abysmal mess recently. I've, I've, I've been so tired at night, but I've not been able to sleep at night. I'm, I'm just lying in bed awake until like seven or eight a.m. and then I feed Tiffany, go back to bed, and sleep all morning. <laughs> but uh, I'm still, I'm still getting some sleep at least, which is better than uh, pure insomnia. So I will, I will just take what I can get at the moment. But yeah, fingers crossed. I can actually sleep tonight. I believe, I, I believe. I believe in my powers of falling asleep because I am exhausted. <laughs> I need some X-shaped gourd seeds. You're right. I just, I need, I need some of that honey. I need some of uh, that uh, spiked honey, please. Honey's really nice as well. I'm a, I'm a big honey fan. Oh, I'll, I will let you know when I decide what I'm going to play next to see if it's something you've played or not. But yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, my, my puzzle mod team. I appreciate you so much. It, it helps so much knowing I, I don't have to stress as much about chat. 
uh, the perils of the perils of being stubborn and wanting to figure everything out myself. But yes, that is good for now. Let's let's find somebody to raid. Let's see who's online. Who we got? We stand the mods. So true. Mod appreciation life. Who's live? Who should I stream? There are many people I could raid. So many people I could raid. What if I just raid Yuria again? Because she's great. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna raid Yuria. I'm, I raid her all the time, but... <laughs> but I want to send the raid in Yuria's direction. Because uh, now that she's moved to Canadia land, we're not in the same time zone anymore. Like, she used to be like an hour off from me time zone wise. She's in Canada time now. So we're not in the, the similar time zone anymore. So when I get the chance to raid her, I want to. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna send the raid over to Yuria. She is a red panda VTuber and she's playing Mana Lords at the moment, which is it's like a base building strategy kind of game. I don't know exactly what it's about, but I know that she's gotten obsessed with it, so... Yeah, I'm gonna send the raid over her way. Here is the raid message! If you are subbed, we got fire. If you're not subbed, we still got fire. Because, um, in, in memory of the explosion, as the automaton was blown up, <laughs> Canada mentioned... Oh, I love that emote too. It's like, who spilled all this back seating? Let me mop that up. Yeah, you can use the arson again. You can, because of the gift sub. I mean, I mean, wait, uh, wait, I just, no. You can tell I'm tired because I just said that. It's not arson. It's just fire. It's, there's no arson here. I didn't say that. I did not say that. That didn't happen and I didn't say it. I'm sending the raid on them. I'm, I'm getting this raid set. I'm, you can tell I'm tired if I just said that. I can't believe myself. Oh my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited to get back to Outer Wilds next week. But there are, there are comfy times ahead before then. Have some chill streams before, before the intensity of Baldur's Gate 3 on Friday as well. Because that is also going to be intense because I know what we're doing next. And it's gonna involve a lot of blood. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna send the raid over to Yuria now and hopefully get some sleep. But yes, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. It has been, I didn't even mean to make this a pun, but it is, it's been a blast. <laughs> I've had a great time. But yeah, I think it's time for me to try and sleep now. So thank you so much everyone for joining me today and until next time, bye bye!